You'd be saving uh, for the show. Well, no, no, I was well. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking about getting one of them upgrade kits. Ah, uh, uh, all right. With it and well, that's a good up. reason. That's a good reason why. You know, but, he's uh, uh, since those upgrade kits were announced and started dropping. I think he's been going yeah. up in price. Is that what you've been saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw him on eBay for like 60, 70 bucks. I'm Get like, out of town. Are you kidding me? It's not a high rack. It's like a, it's, I mean, I don't, I don't want to call it garbage. I'm not going to call it garbage figure. Cool. Jamie, you are so cool. I am cool. <laughs> you are. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess we've been live for a little bit, so I'm going to go. Uh, welcome to Plastic Fanatics, the late night aftercast. I'm your host, Victory Saber 7 <laughs> Seven, otherwise known as Jame. Got a good or, show for you. Or yeah. I was about to say, Jame, you look like uh, you look like Elliot, all grown up, and he's a cool dude now. Cool. <laughs> if you can get that reference, not I try. Yeah. Um, I'm not writing. Uh, I'm not going home though. I like Reese's Pieces. I'll tell you that much. But um, uh. Got some really good stuff to look at today. Um, it's going to be fun. So we will um, I get the hood off there. Uh, so let's get into some introduction. Oh, Trent, yes. yes. I didn't do it too fast. We got you. Got you, man. Holy shit, Trent. What's up, Trent? How you doing? All right. All right. How's it going, fellas? Pretty good. Right. I'm going to start off with you first. Hey. How you doing? Pretty good. And you, what's up, Jane? much doing okay um did you get anything this week i did manage to pick something up this week uh the Ooh. big boy sketch shadow yeah i got tired of waiting waiting for him to show up in the store so i just said screw it you gotta be a toy dojo toy do oh you went to the shop or did you buy it online i bought it online huh cool Oh wow, man, talk about talk about impatience. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, it's like, yeah. How do you like it? I, know, right? I think he's great, you know. He doesn't have quite some of the details that the original uh, generations of the Lux did, but you know, he's a great big figure. Just two down, one more to go. Go. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a nice figure. Yeah. Yeah, I need to find that some bitch someday. But anything else for you? Uh, that was it. Oh, man. Well, that's cool, though. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, Russ. What's up, How fellas? you doing? I'm all right, man. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, I uh, I didn't get anything this week because um, I'm lame. <laughs> I'm just the lame guy. I didn't get anything. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, Russ, if you get something next week, what's your going to be your excuse for being lame? I'll be lame. I'm going to just, just gonna ignore your insult. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Brush around it. Gosh. That's funny. Uh, Charles. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Good, 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 good. Uh, uh, the only haul I got this week was the, uh, Marvel Legends, uh, symbiote Spidey. 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 Nice. Cool. Cool figure. Yep. yep. Yes. I can't front the idea like a costume back in front of me. Yes, my, it's my favorite. Evil. <laughs> but it went evil. That's, it's still good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's great, man. That's one of the better ones. I like that figure. Yeah. Ain't pretty clean on it, Charles? Or your, would you have pretty clean paint on it? Yeah, uh, the head... Uh, uh, two of them. One of them had a weird uh, mark on one of the eyes, but this one I have yet to see any anything wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, that's what I had to do. I had to like dig through a couple that I saw when I when I, were at, when I was at the store and found them, and find one that was like had the best paint job on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. You 
Yeah, Marble Legends easy. can be hit, and, hit or missed. They're good, but some of them you got to just yeah. gotta be careful of. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yep. But awesome. Nice cool, game, cool. man. You going to get the rest of the series? Oh, yeah. uh, probably not. <sighs> get the fuck out of here. Just, yeah. All right, we're Charles. <laughs> 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 Charles, I'm the same way. I cherry picked them off. I guess too, man. Yeah, so, you <laughs> know, like, oh yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what's up, Dan? Yo, yo, what's happening? Not much. Hey, Dan, what's up, bud? What's happening? What's Side up? note: I'm surprised it took you uh, this long, Chuck, to get that Spider-Man. You know, you being a Venom fan, though, I thought you'd jump on that. <laughs> well, I think it's the first time I've seen him, though. Mm. Ah, that that makes sense. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, whatever. He likes to hunt. You know, he doesn't do that online thing. That's cool. Yeah, that's true. I do that too. I like to hunt. It must be nice. I do too, but it just sucks. So I just buy my shit online. Yeah. 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 There you, go. <laughs> yeah you get your stuff. You get all the nice deals. You find all the good deals. Yeah, dude. Tube get lucky from all that. Oh, yeah, dude. Jumped on that. That's the only one I wanted. Man. That gave tombstone would have been nice, and the moon, the moon night would have been cool too. I gave you the link, you know. Yeah, it just was too slow. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Alrighty. Up. Ne- well, while well, you're here, Dan, how you doing? Been a while. Oh, I'm doing good. You? Oh, oh wait, yeah. I already asked that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> have you gotten anything new since I don't know? Last time you've been on ETR. Oh, oh. Maybe a couple things or other. A couple things. Guess I'll plug my camera in so you can actually see some shit I got. Oh, it's all right. We can. Oh. You got well, a good enough voice to describe it. Go ahead. Oh God. Yeah. Good evening. Okay, that guy. What's Hello. up, man? Hello. What's up? Hello. There all right. Is. So, outside of the tombstone, which I got last week, hmm. I can't think of anything else I got. All right. But um, I did cave just for one time only, and I bought a pop. For myself, I've only bought pops once, and that was for my brother. It was a Rick and Morty pop because mm. he likes that show. But Just I found out pop, this, huh? yeah, I found out this existed, and I went and got it. But I got the uh, GameStop exclusive Devil Gin from Tekken. Ah, oh, nice. One. Yeah. <laughs> And I was debating on those Tekken figures because there's just n- nothing good out there besides the, uh, the I think it's Play Arts Kai, but there's even then there's only three of them and they suck. So, yeah. So, so Dan, are you are you worried? Like, is this gonna be a new thing? Because you know, once you pop, you can't stop, kind of thing. Uh, no, not even. <laughs> now, I, I was worried about that, but um, when I went into the store to to pick him up, they had a, they had King and Nina there, and I looked at both of them. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I saw him, and I'm like. I have to have it. Devil Jin's always been my absolute favorite, so had to get them. You ever seen the live action Tekken? Oh yeah, I love that movie. I thought I it was great. Too. Out of all I, the fighting movies, I think it's like the best. Yeah, I would I'd probably agree with that. There was a second one, I guess, but I, I haven't seen that one yet. It's probably terrible. But that first one was really good. Yeah. Cool. But um, I picked up a book as well. I guess they're making a show called American Gods and the books. He mentioned, yeah. so I picked that up. Nice. I'm gonna read that at some point. Other than that, that's uh, that's it for me. Cool. Up next, the Brinkalizer. How What's you up, doing, guys? So this week I picked up G Creations Optimus, hmm. and uh, wow. as you can tell, I he is not tabbed together. But I did transform him with no instructions, which I was proud proud about. But uh, I can't get these panels flush, so something on the inside I got wrong, and uh, I'm gonna have to watch a review and redo it. But uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty good figure. It's, um, feels like the like the plastic and stuff is sort of like early eye gear. It's way the way it feels like. But it's my first G creations. But uh, you know, it's a prime. I waited. Patience saves boss pockets. I got them for a pretty good deal. So pussy. I, I, I don't know really that, like but... <laughs> what's that? I think it's a pigeon saves pussy. I was about to say I don't think that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the bot mode for that figure. It really yeah. looks good. 
I tell yeah. you what, in the pictures, you know how his legs look really long? Uh-huh. In person, the legs look really long. Just want to give you a <laughs> <Yeah>. heads up. <laughs> <laughs> so the pictures do it justice. Huh? Yeah. All right, cool. Yep. Nice. And that's though. it. He is yeah. Cool. That's it, though. Nothing else. Um, I think that is it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, maybe this. I don't know if I mentioned this on the last show, but uh, upgrade kit for uh, MPP ten Ultra Magnus. Cool. That's the one that light up head, right? Yep. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, for me, what did I get? What did you get, James? Uh, well, let's see. Today, since I can remember that, um, I got a couple more three and three quarter inch uh, Star Wars Black Series. Sh- uh, I want to call them Shadow Troopers, Death Troopers. So, got nice. those. Oh, you can't beat five eighty four or five, whatever the hell they are. Uh, and when you see them, they want to get them before they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> got the two nice. pack of the Spider Man Vulture. Um, yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> it's interesting. I mean, if the Ultimate Spider-Man, it's the same as the other Ultimate Spider-Man that we got. But, a repaint? No uh, way. But at least they can have one with the, you know, the mask off and the other one with the mask on, and all that. So I guess it, yeah. it works. Why not? So these these aren't mo- movie renditions. They're, they're new. Okay. This is Good. the Walmart exclusive Ultimate Spider-Man, and I think what is the Toys R Us, the kind of modern day with Spider-Man and Mary Jane, or I don't know. There's that one, or maybe it's a Target. I don't know. I believe that's Toys R Us. Yeah, because oh. Toys R Us. But, Looking uh, forward to that one. Yeah, that one's gonna be nice. the The Vulture is not bad. It's, I mean, again, it's based off the Ultimate. Um, but the wings are kind of, they suck as far as articulation. They're just plastic. Archangel. I know, but I like the design <laughs> of it. I like how the back just pops off, and you just pop those wings on, and yeah, it seems pretty. Boom! Strong. It's done, and, you- and it stays on. Nice. That's pretty killer. And you get two heads. But, no. Yeah. Oh, man. If they did an Archangel like this, that uh, would be pretty cool. But That's there'd be no easy, articulation, though. Which easy would money. Easy money right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, What else did I get? I got. I finally finished off the MGS Player Arts Kai with nice. um, Meryl. I needed Meryl, and uh, she, for some reason, she was going up on eBay like crazy. And then um, I had a pre-order through BBTS since last July, just hoping, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> and then I found a good deal from someone else, and I bought it. So um, there you go. I, I got that. Um, that's it, I think. Yeah, that's about it. I was looking forward to some other stuff, but it's still on its way through um, uh, customs and everything else. So kind of nice. shitty. But, oh, well. Did you use Sal or uh, EMS? I use EMS, but oh, for good. some reason, uh, I always use EMS. I can't sit there and wait. You don't want to. You don't want to save that eighteen dollars. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, you know, I can, I can spend that eighteen bucks. I don't care. Kids don't need that, you know, Ivy League school. There you go. <laughs> you know, community college is just fine for them. Just fine. <laughs> so, and they can get student loans. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, all right. Moving on, let's get into some good old-fashioned news. Is there news this weekend? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> no, not a lot. <laughs> Unless you're into some really cool shit. It's not trans. Well, Transformers, yeah, there was quite a bit. Yeah, a lot of conventions going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea there was stuff coming. That was a pleasant surprise to see that stuff coming through the feed today. What was that? Yeah. It's hobby free or something like that, I think it was called. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. It's kinda of cool though. All right, let's uh get into this shit. All right, you can see my little thumbnail. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Uh well it's a decent size, medium. It's average. Um, so you can kind of guess what the Blast from the Past is going to be. And yes, there is a Blast from the Past. But um, we'll get to it when we get to it. 
But welcome to episode 132 of Plastic Fanatics. It's the late night after you guys. Got to do my shout outs real quickly. So welcome to the Cool Table Network. If you're not familiar with it, go check it out on Facebook. A slew of podcasts for your collecting needs and habits. Um, great shows. I have all the shows in the description. So there's links there, all that type of stuff. You can find them on all social mediums. Um, so like, subscribe, five-star ratings, all that type of stuff. But we have Enter the Realm on Monday nights, ROC Hangout on Tuesday. And Wednesday is Big Banging. Which I believe there's going to be a figure banging this Wednesday. Yep, I believe so. Talk I wonder about. what it's going to be. Yeah, <laughs> a little late to the game, but we'll see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I should have mine by then too. It's going to be nice. Um, but yes, check that out on Wednesday. Also on Wednesday is Stasis Lock. So check that out. It's before um, figure banging on Bricks on the Dollars YouTube channel. All the other Enter the Realm, ROC Hangout, and Big Bangs on the Aroma Collectors YouTube channel. We also have Shattercast Uncut. We also have Nerd Rage Radio. We also have Toy Detox. I was kind of disappointed with Nerd Rage. I was hoping for another kind of, as morbid as it sounds, a death. <laughs> but, Were you really? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Actually, no, I wasn't. But I Maybe thought that's you, what I was going to start off with. I was like, if, if you subscribe to their Patreon, they'll give you all the pet snuff talk that you want. <laughs> I might have to do that. Um, but it was a good, it was a good um, episode. Uh, Shattercast was good too. I enjoyed that. And Toy Detox uh, coming back for its quarterly run. <laughs> um, I enjoyed that also. And then we also have eight weeks. Someday um, we'll be coming in. I don't know. Season two coming around, but and we also have beers and bolters 40k, which I know nothing of. All I know is it's what Adam and Joe talking about stuff I don't know. So, uh, but definitely check it out though. It again, all the shows give you something in the collecting realm, realm as it is. So go check out the Cool Table Network. All right, moving into some new stuff. We have DC's little adventure into their own streaming service. <laughs> thank you, DC. I mean, I guess we should thank Marvel for teaming up with Netflix, but DC didn't have to go and do their own thing. So are so, you thinking them sarcastically? Or? They can suck my <laughs> average size. <laughs> no. Um, I don't like it. I mean, I was really looking forward to, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but Young Justice. As oh, we definitely. Know, it's, it's called yeah. Outsiders. Yeah. So that's awesome. Uh, I want the continuation. I, I really think that there was a lot more to dig into in that series, but now it's going to be part of their streaming network uh -huh. so kudos yeah i was hoping to be on netflix but yeah yeah me too since yeah. young jess is on netflix so i wonder if they're going to pull all that stuff off of netflix yeah. most likely sure. they will bastards but then we also got news which i don't have a actual yeah i don't have an actual title but there is going to be a live action teen titans series i believe it's not a movie it's an actual series so that's pretty cool um gonna be written by um the jeff johns hmm. and uh he has indirectly confirmed beast boy is gonna be part of the cast but we don't know who else is gonna be in there so do you think, do you think this will be better as a live action or would it would it be more beneficial to have it as a cartoon i think cartoon yeah i would yeah. agree with you yeah. on that I mean, if it's live action, I mean, are they going to try and do it like a Teeny Bopper series, like Smallville or something like that? <laughs> teeny Bopper. <God>. Teeny Bopper. <laughs> CW coming free form at you. No. Um, I hope not. Jeez, I, mean, I don't want to have like – it's. I mean, if you've watched Teen Titans, the movies, like the Jews Contract or Teen Titans versus Justice League, I mean – No, it's good. 
they're good, but it's like, come on, like Dick and you know um, Starfire, like, hey, what's up? hey, what's up? I want you to move in with me. You know, I don't want that in the in the live action. But, you know, <laughs> you're gonna get it, but yeah, you would definitely get it. Probably get a nice romp, romp yeah, hey, with in there, yeah, you would. yeah. Robin's gonna be stuck on an island for twenty years, you know. And, Flashbacks <laughs> everywhere. It's gonna, everyone's gonna be stuck on an island. Cyborgs <laughs> going and, and fucking the timeline. You know, I mean, it's that's it's just what uh, you. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, who's who's the chick with the green eyes and the purple lingerie? Starfire. Starfire. Oh, yeah. Corey. Corey. Yeah, Corey. Nightwing's girl. Not wings, booty. Yes, sir. Ooh, give me some of them bolts. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I like the the animated. I think they could go in a little more in depth, rated R, you know, and they don't have to worry about special effects because you, you know you want all this yeah. stuff to happen, right? Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, I don't want C dub stuff. I'll tell you that much. I don't want DC Legends of Tomorrow, but kidified because <laughs> 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 that's gonna doom their little network. Uh, I think it's gonna just like fall apart. Be like, yeah. no. But we'll see. I just wonder with this streaming service if they're gonna just add on all their old stuff because that might be cool. I mean, that that was the one part of me that was kind of interested, just because I want to see some old like DC stuff. You know, if they compile everything together. Oh, like That's Captain fun. Marvel back in the seventies. Sure. You know, just you know, all their cartoons, all their animated shows, all their TV yeah. shows, movies, and the other. Yeah, I I do. That might be neat. But wasn't there like DC a couple? Stuff, who knows? Wasn't there a few years ago they were they had something in development that they were gonna try to do a live action Teen Titans and then I guess it fell through. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. it fell through because they decided they were gonna do this down the road. No, it out. was TNT. What I read about oh, it was TNT, TNT. That's right. Decided not to do it because there's too much comic book stuff out there. Well, get on board because that shit's not the hell. Yeah. <laughs> what a stupid network. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see. Uh. I, I don't know. I, I'm a huge Teen Titans fan. I, yeah. I can't wait. But is it going to be incongruent with their movie series? Is it going to fall back onto their C-dub stuff? Which I doubt it will. It's going to be its own, probably their own property. But you want it to, though, at least for me. Uh, but we'll, we'll Yeah. Go. All right. Kind of talked about this last week or something. I mentioned it, but. If you watch the Teen Titans Judas Contract, there is a in the trailers you get to see the Batman in Harley Quinn, kind of how it came about with Bruce Tim and so forth. I argued so, it, so I didn't see that. So, oh, so man. this is going to be in the style of the Batman. There it is. Boom. Yes. <laughs> it is going to be in the style of the old school Batman animated series. Uh, Kevin Conroy nice. comes back yeah. as Batman. Old so that's awesome. Uh, the voice actor for Robin and Nightwing comes back also. And if you haven't seen the trailer, you should go check it out. This was a great scene where they're in the Batmobile and they're getting this little phone call from Booster Gold. Like, I can give you this guy, this guy. And Nightwing's doing all these little gestures <laughs> about the characters that Booster Gold's talking about. But Man, who would have um, thought the Batmobile would have a back seat? <laughs> well, ever since they got... The Bat yeah. family expanded. He needed to get a more of an SUV, <laughs> I guess, or a Batman. <laughs> the Batman. <laughs> a little booster seat. Damn kids, always making you ready a sports car. God damn. Yeah, it's like Batgirl, Batwoman, Robin, Robin 2, Red Robin, you know. God, I'm Red Hood. Shit. <clears throat> I'll and stop then, this crime fighting right now if you don't shut up. That's a very appropriate picture, Jim. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I just found this. It's just like, okay. So the, Tara Strong's not coming back as Harley Quinn or the original voice actress from the Batman anime series, but we're getting, um, what is this gal's name? Michelle, Melissa Rauch, I think her name is. I don't know. All I know is she's in Big Bang Theory. Yep, Big Bang yeah. Theory she's or that. Yeah. Yeah, she's oh, she's all 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 yep, the soft-spoken kind of uh, little... I don't know. Kind Very of big personality, voice. Bernadette. Yeah. Her, yeah. Uh -huh. I, she could definitely yeah. be a Harley Quinn for sure. I yeah. 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 Big, oh, I big think. personality. That's right. They yeah. they showed some snippets of her talking um, in the whole uh, in the studio and uh, doing her lines and all that stuff, and it, it, she she nailed it. So. Mm. Yeah, I think so, she'll do a good. So looking forward pick, to it. James, that's obviously not her hand. That's someone else's hand. That's a man's happened. hand. <laughs> 
going for the goods. And I think this is from the movie, uh, was it Second or Bronze? I don't know. She did a movie where she was a gymnastics. She came in like, I don't know, second or third. I don't know what it was, but it's, it's <laughs> quite funny, I guess. I haven't seen it yet. But yeah, there you go. I thought that was going to throw that picture out there. I saw that one. I'm like, all right, cool. Appropriate. It is. <laughs> Moving on. There you go. So that's coming out this summer, 2017. To a DVD, Redbox, Netflix, probably, I don't know, Karg. I'm going to eat. Yep. All right, moving into the C-Dub crap real quick. My favorite segment. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> uh, I don't watch these anymore. Supergirl. Shit, I don't remember it, actually, to be honest with you. I did watch it. <laughs> I didn't miss um, I missed it this time. Shit, what was it about? Doesn't sound like I missed anything. Uh, if you care about it. Oh, it was um, uh, uh, on a leg with Brandon uh, stuff like that. And it wasn't that great. So don't worry about it. Um, Von L's parents are still here. Uh, next week's episode, her sister gets kidnapped, and um, she has to do some stuff. Uh, creepy voice, like, I want to play a game. Uh, you have so many, uh, whatever. He has, she has to break out her this guy's dad out of prison or something. But moving on to Flash, though. Flash decides to go to the future. No way. Iris. And he meets his future grunge self who is having a pity party for himself which is typical hero shit from what I saw that's pretty much Peter Parker and Spider-Man 3 <laughs> it was except that reminds me of Yum. I wish he would have done a dance at the end of the show when he got his groove back <laughs> uh, but yeah you get to see Top you get to see um, Mirror Master which is kind of cool you get to see the future you know updated Flash suit. Uh, other than that, he didn't find out who <laughs> Savitar was. We did get to see that um, Killer Frost took out um, Vibe's Vibe. yeah. powers in his hands, so he's got these nice robotic T um, Terminator-looking hands, which is kind of cool. Uh, and other than that, that was about it. But at the end, uh, Killer Frost is running loose, and she finally catches up with Savitar. Savitar catches up with her, and he gets out of his little armored suit. And we get to find out who he is next week, I believe. And she oh. totally submits to him, knowing full well who he is. And the oh, rumor it's is... It's Ronnie. Yeah, everyone thinks it's Ronnie and all that. So it's like, that's going to suck. I'm hoping it's Michael Bay, just to pop out of there. Like, hey, <laughs> last night, go see it! And then, whoosh, and then have a speed. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, DC Legends of Sparrow is done, so I'm not going to talk about that. Arrow, Arrow's oh, sweet. started, well, done for this season, I guess. No. They've all been renewed, so they're coming back. Nah. Kind of. Uh, Arrow was slow. No. <laughs> As always, after having that great trailer of like, look at everything that's coming. Let's just uh, not do it just yet. So it was an okay episode <laughs> where... The hypocrite Oliver is telling, you know, um, Overwatch or um, Felicity not to go do something, but she does it anyways. And Wait, Oracle? Uh, well, that's, yeah, that, yeah. That it is? Overwatch. That's Oracle. Could have been, it could have been Oracle, you know, but they didn't do that way. Um, and other than that, that was about it. There was nothing, like, great about the episode except for the fact that Prometheus is always one step ahead of him. So, yeah. whoopity doo! I am looking forward to Deathstroke. That will be my saving grace for the show. If uh, he shows up and he's like in two seconds of a cameo and that's it, I'm like, this is horseshit. I'm gonna uh. taking down all my shirt list, all of her Queen posters. This is bull, man. <laughs> Don't care. Okay, moving on. All right, so Super 7 did a video or vlog or message to all their fans and people who pre-ordered this, their uh, Masters of the Universe Series 1 stuff. It's coming. Don't worry. Uh, it's, it's a stupid video, to be honest with you, um, in my opinion. The guy who is the owner talked about, oh, they're going to be on their way May 31st. No, that's 
he goes into it later on like that's when they're going to be shipped out from the actual plant and then they will ship them out june 31st uh, to all of us if you pre-order they're going to open up the pre-orders again they're also going to be doing somewhat of a subscription service where you can if you buy all of the wave you can go back and buy multiples of other characters but it sounds like you have to buy the entire wave first uh, much like the transformers collectors club used to do sounds like some ninja bullshit yeah it does <laughs> Um, what else did they say? Oh, they're going to do a payment plan, so you you can um, stretch that debt a little bit longer if you like. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, did they say that it was all this was all delayed because of uh, they're going to be actually making the Thundercat figures? Uh, no, they oh. are delaying it because they have to go through <laughs> the last thing they're doing is like safety precautions, so they have to play with the figures. I'm assuming. <laughs> to make sure that they um, are okay and they can, you know, go pew, bam, yeah, woo. <laughs> I can't swallow his head. I can't. Okay, good. You're not going to die and all that. So, um, whatever. Um, but no, they said nothing about Thundercats. And I, I believe Thundercats is dead in the water. No. Um, so, Pope. just bury him in some, get some kitty litter, just get in the backyard, bury them. Come and on, just, Jane. Collections are built on hope. <laughs> In a galaxy far, far away, yes. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> but not on New Thundera or <laughs> anywhere around Thundera. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping, I really do hope, but if you see my Thundercats Maddie collecting uh, shelf, they're just laying there. I didn't give <laughs> shit about it. They just <laughs> fell over. I'm like, I look at them like, fuck it. I don't care. Just <laughs> lay there. You sons of bitches. I'm not better. I'm not better. Um, but but yet I have those shitty Bandai's like perfectly stood up. Oh, they fall over. I'm over there just adjusting them. I got the original Thundercats, but nah, those Manic Collectors can just eat shit and die. <laughs> <laughs> Till we get more. All right, so premium format figure from Sideshow. We got Han Solo here. I just thought I'd throw that out there for everyone. God damn, that looks good. Oh, it's nice. my favorite outfit. The oh, Bespin. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Bespin outfits. Yeah, he, he, that's the, the, head, the head sculpt looks fantastic. It's a James Dean look. I love it. Yeah, man. That's cool. <laughs> All right. So, Star Wars fans choice. We have a lot of news to go over. Um, Transformers, but we got some uh, really cool stuff coming up with the uh, Tamashi Nation. Ooh. Can't wait. Big day um, today. Yeah. Yeah. And big shout out to Herrick and BX for uh, photos and such. I wasn't able to use all of them, but I. Um, I was frantically trying to put them in there and such. But going back to Star Wars fans' choice, uh, we had talked about this last week where certain f Star Wars fan sites um, issued out a poll that you could vote for who you'd want to have released in the three and three quarter inch line by Hasbro, which is bringing back the vintage Black Series line. They got all their. Um, tallies in order and now the voting has begun uh, you can go to the website starwars.com and click on who you want these are your contestants and i uh, don't know their names no um i forgot her name she's in the vader comic book series um i could probably tell you who's gonna win this one no wait, no, no, we already, never mind. We already got him. Never mind. Yeah, I'm confused. Uh, is this for the six inch? Stuff? No, this is for the three and three quarter inch. Oh, oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, sorry. This is um, yeah. They they used to do the six inch line. I'm not sure if they're doing that, you know, again. But they are trying to bring back the three and three quarter inch line and hey, such. But why is Master Shredder part of this? Master <laughs> Shredder, come on. So you oh have my God, Splinter Cheese, dude. And <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Afra, who is from the Vader comic books, and she's one of Vader's little underlings. You have the Rebels version of uh, Ahsoka. You have Sim Alu. You have Yak Face. You have the Arc Trooper Fives, which I didn't know he was that popular. 
which is, I guess, cool. But probably and then, to repaint for them. Yeah, and then you have Emperor Palpatine. So that is who you have right now. Um, I believe the good Doctor. I think it's between the Doctor and Ahsoka, right now is um in the lead. But we'll see. It's funny we did get a kind of a Emperor Palpatine. It was Darth Sidious, but I'm sure they could reuse some of that. But oh well. All right, moving into Transformer stuff. If you guys want to do some uh, some coding with each other, or you just want to know what the hell that shit says on those Transformers from the Bayformers movies, you have their little decoder here. So I'm good. There you go. Ah. So I guess this is for the visual watchers and all that but um audio sorry i hope the uh, the movie blows me away i'm i'm sure it won't but um, yeah. i'd like to be excited when i hear the word transformers again yeah. yeah i'd like to be excited again when i hear the word transformers can't speak sorry <laughs> uh moving on i just threw this out there prime one studios megatron that looks it's gold but it I looks really good gold it looks so good. <laughs> I'm so looking good. forward to the uh, what is it the uh, the mega action series Megatron to go with. Yeah, the me too. But, I I'm not typically a, per, a purchaser of Megatron figures, but uh, you know I think these would be a good book. I have the Prime already, so I figure it'd be good to get the other bookend. You know, mm -hmm. the Prime one. You have that? No, the the MAS. Ah, um, never mind. Yeah, gotcha. But the statue does look good. Yeah. Yeah, you do. A little bit of an Iron Man fielding with those little red highlights. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't know about that. All right. Now we have a Unicron. That's cool. Statue. Man. <laughs> that lights up. Just threw this out there because we're going to look at something that we've already looked at before. But here you have Unicron in his planet mode on a stand, which looks really good. Actually, that would that'd be a cool table lamp. Yeah, it would. That would be dope. Yeah. Actually, if they designed the new, like an Oscar looking like that, that'd be kind of cool too. Like uh, the Unicron award goes to. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there it is. And then there is the Unicron statue that we've seen that lights up and has remote and all that type of stuff. Those are both pretty dope. Yeah. 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 Those would look really good on the shelf if they weren't, you know, 3000 a piece. Or how ah, it's just are. a job. I mean, come on. Actually, no, that guy's like five, isn't he? Is he? I didn't know he was that much. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Google. That's, that's like maybe it's, like it's three a, life size NECA Harley Quinns. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and it's a it's a lamp, right? Isn't it? It's it's yeah. Type yeah. In a crown. Oh no, sorry, he's eight hundred dollars. My mistake. Eight hundred bucks. <laughs> Still, it would be yeah. kind of cool to have the Unicron like home <laughs> system where he talks to you and he just you know he turns off your lights. If you have questions, he will answer them. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm on something. I did. Cool. Uh, but yeah, there he is. And then you got the uh, Rodimus there in the background. There's another one that they're doing. I'm sure it's going to be a huge seller, that Rodimus right here. So um, it's kind of funny. He's opening up the Matrix into a large ball. We will play beach volleyball, Galvatron, for the universe. <laughs> But all right, moving on to uh, tr other Transformers news. We have the E Hobby Scourge Black Convoy repaint of the Voyager G2 or Laser Optimus Prime from Titans Return. Shout out to Iron Claw. Yep. Yeah. I'm picking it up. It's, it's going to be cool to have, at least with the uh, Baldigus that they did. Yeah. Other than that, and then uh, we got what? We got Skybite. So all I need is those other Predacons and a Galvatron or a Megatron. That's not bad. I like the way they did the paint, the colors on this, where they got the turquoise. 
yep. how they have it run. That's that's pretty cool. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. It's spot on to the to the Takara yeah. release of them. It's yeah, nice. I mean, it definitely doesn't look bad. Uh, does, does anybody have this mold yet on the panel? Yep. Do you, no, Frank? You you collect primes? Yeah, I haven't picked it up yet. I figure it's gonna wait till like <laughs> TFCon or something like that. Get on the cheap for sure. Yeah. It's not bad of a mold, especially coming from Combiner Wars. And but if you're the but if you're looking at like looking maybe a Power Master Office Prime or Super Gen Rai, then yeah, it's kind of like. Eh. But I like the fact that I can fold these down, so I have a normal looking Prime, and then I have the G two Laser Prime that looks exactly how he's supposed to be, and then this guy will look exactly how he's supposed to be too. Wait, so those things on the shoulders fold down? Yes. Yeah. Dope. These fold in the back. Hold on. I might, I might go buy one right yeah. now then. So that's 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 actually a real cool thing that they did that. And if, I mean, this being the octane mold, that's what you have to do also for him. Just fold those back behind his shoulders. There's a tanker mode. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. There's. Oh, that's right. This but it looks so much better terrible. like this. I can forgive it for this, except for you know having Optimus Prime. I was like, uh, unless it's the G2, then it makes sense. So, but. Yeah, that plane mode looks like ass. Yeah, this is. But you know what? It should never. How would never? He would never even see this mode, so it wouldn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah, hey, we there. tried. But yeah. when Octane comes yeah. out, I mean, this is gonna be four uses of this mold. It's like, damn. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he slowly started to hit, but you probably have pictures of that. Octane. Yeah. yeah. He was hitting like what the Philippines, but. Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah. Collectors Club. These two are dropping soon, so we're getting the Pretender G2 Optimus and Pretender, I believe, G2 Megatron. So looking forward to that. This is based off the Oil Master, or whatever the Oil Dude, yeah. from 2014, 2015, excuse me. And then this is actually the um, actual Pretender shell for Grand Max, which is cool. So they actually had that son bitch. So they could have Takara, possibly with Hasbro. I'm sure they got it from Hasbro got it from Takara, but we could have gotten a re issue of Grand Max. They had all the pieces. Huh. Hmm. Damn. So So with that swerve mold as the pretender, this isn't isn't that what uh Botcon did? Yeah, they did this as Oil Master, different character. This was intention. This was supposed to be for Prime back in the day, I believe. Right. Um, but they used that mold and that design for that. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. Last hurrah for them. Oop, going back here. There's Blitzwing. Good old Titans Return. Ditka, not. Um, this one will, this will buy you better than Dicka. This, this will <laughs> not be so top heavy. Um, yeah. I have a hard time keeping it on the ground because it's so light. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is this, is, is this the one that's the like a repaint of the Megatron that they did earlier? Yeah. Yep. 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 It's a repaint of this, which is that. <laughs> All right. This is what it was intended for. There he is. And there's Octane. Yeah. That's a big old head he's got. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, you can put these down, though. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not, uh, I don't know why they have these side little spring-loaded things that come up. Jay, let me ask you something. Is it me or does the wings look a bit longer? Or... They look different they, to me, too. They man. probably remolded they it a little bit just to make it a little nice. He was more of a yeah. jet, wasn't he? So. Yeah. 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 That'd be kind of cool. It's not bad. That wouldn't be like Hasbro to re remold film. It would be like a Takara thing. Yeah. But, I don't yeah. know. We'll see. And I'll then we got Ramhorn here. Whamhorn. So, for all you guys who want some Whamhorn. Wham, wham, wham. Wham, wham, wham. Horny Ram. Horny Ram. Horny Ram. <laughs> and there's another box of Trypticon that we saw last week, but we're going to see it again. I uh, take that back. It? This gets me excited about Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. 
I will admit this gets me more excited than the Fort Max release. Indeed. So I'm starting to get back into that official. Uh, going, I think I'm getting ready to go down the official rabbit hole again. Oh, <laughs> I like some of these. Necro. Official or not, dude, shit looks good. The shit looks good, and this looks fucking good. Oh yeah, you're right. Dude. Yeah, that's the truth. And it's gonna go up in price, even if you think, yeah, maybe I don't want it. But uh, you can always probably sell this some bitch two, yeah. two years, a year, whatever. Yeah, dude, this yeah. is day one. I, I have to. I had this. I had the G1 as a kid at my grandma's house. Gotta grab this. Plus, Metroplex needs a buddy. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Is this Except a uh, little double teaming from Fort Max and Metroplex on Trypticon. I don't know. That's going to be kind of fair. <laughs> but um, uh, there's nothing wrong about robots getting on with the dinosaur. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> robots in Disguise, Combiner Force. We've got High Test in Optimus Prime. I just threw these out there. I know we're all huge robots in Disguise you know, collectors. I thought that show got canceled a while back. Now they're going strong, season four. Oh, horse. I thought it got canceled. Yeah, they're back. Oh, great night. We get the Stunicons. We're getting all this good old combiner shit. Is it actually worth watching or no? no. Oh, really. okay. <laughs> That's too bad. I mean, the last season, they kind of threw us a bone by giving us, you know, Starscream, Starscream. you know, from Prime, linking it to Prime a little bit more with Soundwave and Soundwave. even with um, Ratchet and all that. Mm -hmm. So... But yeah, here's Soundwave with Laserbeak. Laserbeak looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then we got some legends of like Drift and um, Cyclonus. As you keep progressing in these photos, it just gets worse and worse. Yes. <laughs> these are starting to look like knockoffs. These All are dollar are... store stuff, but you're like, whoa, no, they're not. <laughs> like, no, that's a good one, but that's, that's 50 cents right there. It's like, you want how much for that? No. How about I just take this? Just, What's all the paint I'm I'm seeing on the character, but not on the toy? What is this? What kind of racket you running here? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have that small print at the very bottom, subject to change. All right, so our favorite uh, stuff. Uh, this has been dropping in my stores, at least around here. Transformers: The Last Night figures, yeah, or like um, repaints of Age of Extinction toys. Uh, yeah. Or uh, more like it, but um, this is just pictures from, I think, a Singapore Toys R Us, which my Toys R Us don't look anything like this. Yeah. Nope. Most of the stuff would be on the floor. Um, yeah. Most of this would be knocked over, and yeah, there's not going to be that many that high. Um, which is odd how, not to sound weird, but I mean, this is a pretty high shelf here. At least in my area, they don't even go more than like maybe three shelves, and it's just odd. I don't know, huh. kind of weird. But um, that stuff is dropping. I don't know if you um, guys are picking up any of that stuff. Um, I want the barricade. That's what I want. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cool. pass on them for now. I mean, yeah. at least in my area, they're going for more money than the actual like Titan returns and. R.I.D. figures. They're going for like 16 oh, really? instead of like 14.99 or something like that. They're really? going for like 16. Odd. For the re for like there's repaints. Damn. Yeah. I mean, nice. they come in a box, which I guess is nice, but yeah. not that nice. Yeah. Yeah. For real. But yeah, I've seen the I've seen the barricade, the Berserker, Bumblebee. Uh -huh. um, what was it? Slash or whatever that Dinobot was. Uh, they look better. The Dinobots look at least better. They're not the, um, you know, Skittles coloring. <laughs> and then I've seen the Voyager Optimus and uh, uh, Grimlock. Uh, here's a little, uh, what did I see? Go to Toys R Us. You can get an exclusive barricade. It's I think it's battle damaged or um, it's got some other deco on it, depending on how much you uh, spend, which is oh. really cool how they do that for every movie, at least overseas. Um, they did it with Age of Extinction where you could get like a gold um, Grimlock. I think you had to be in a drawing for it, but still, if you you know paid a certain amount of money for toys, you get entered into something. Uh, for me, I don't get Jack going to my Toys R Us. Yeah, me either. Pretty Not bad. even a thanks <laughs> for stopping by. 
Um, <laughs> it's just, what do you need? Thanks. All right. Yeah, like, take your shit and get out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't price match that. Uh, it says on your website. Yeah. We we don't have to go by the website. Okay. <laughs> then I don't have. Then I'm just gonna drop this product right here and just leave. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, but. See you later. Here's some other good news for all you masterpiece fanatics out there and movie fanatics. You're getting the best of both worlds. You are getting an Optimus Prime in the masterpiece line. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> so good. MP, M, Dash 4, Optimus Prime. Wow. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so. For all you guys out there who bought the original masterpieces of the movie Starscream and Bumblebee, you were probably pissed off that you got another masterpiece, Bumblebee. But hey, we're getting Optimus Prime now. So, there you go. It it looks like the Revenge of the Fallen figure to me. (laughs) It is, but it is retooled, which we'll look at here in a sec. Um, Wow. What were their paint details on the monsters? Yeah, you got posable fingers, you get the swords, you get the buster kind of cannon effect from the gas tank, you get a remolded chest torso piece, and you don't get that horrible backpack. Uh, but that sword though. <laughs> Look at the short smokestacks. Oh I know. my god, yeah. you'll poke your eye out. It's like, really? What <laughs> smokestacks? <laughs> Crap. You gotta say that the paint is on point here. Yeah, it is. It's got a little bit of a gradient on that front fender there, from that kind of gold to red. You know that. Yeah. The flames are really crisp. Oh well, yeah, that's. You say I got going for him. Yeah, I mean it's 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 one thing, you know, but. Yeah. But um. But yes, it looks just like the Revenge of the Fall and the Buster Prime. Yeah, that's what I thought. And this is the movie masterpiece one or the masterpiece movie or whatever bullshit they're. Trying yeah. to sell it as. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's too anyone, bad. It really is. Any one of you guys in on this? Nope. Uh, yeah. I, I never had I never had this this figure, any of these primes. I I didn't really do the movie figures until like the last one, the last movie. I got about so, nine of the movie primes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> movie prime. James <laughs> Glutton, he loves it. The only one I'm missing is the ultimate Optimus Prime. Oh, is that the Takara Jetfire one? No, no. It's the one that um, had the the trailer at first that opened up and could like hook onto him as like a backpack of some weird oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got the jet. I got the jet wing <laughs> and the striker and the buster and the revenge and the original and the little <laughs> ones and all the Voyagers and all that crap. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. Sh- I try to keep that on the table. I didn't want anyone to know, like, oh my god, he's a movie collector. <laughs> definitely so they still, it looks like they still can figure out how to do those fenders in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, actually, I think that was... I thought actually, I actually had this one before. I might still have it, but I thought that was actually probably the most genius thing they did on it, because it cleans up fairly nice. Yeah, it I mean, it's a nice. little weird, but it no. It's, yeah, this yeah. doesn't this doesn't look bad actually. Yeah, it's I don't know. An hour or nothing, so that looks, do that. that's what I remember. Yeah. 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 And I remember seeing like the little doors of the side parts, so that I always thought that looked good. Once I finally figured out how to transform it, of course. Yeah, that's always fun. A little yeah. fun task. It's missing yeah. a tire down here, it looks like. But um Yeah, I wasn't happy about the revenge of the fall. I'm like, come on, this is a oh. kid's toy. This is Aaron. fun. Looks like the smokestacks get pulled up, so they were mistransformed last time. Yeah. Right. Cool. You're right. Stop hiring those in the paint. This looks epic. <laughs> they did a good job on the paint. They really did. Hey, man, it did. I wonder how much this is going to retail for. Uh, I'm curious. It looks Every really movie. nice. I mean, any wish shots? This was chromed. Yeah, any shots of the trailer hitch? I'm curious if you can put MP10 on there. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. The little slots right there. Yep. Yeah. 
cool. <laughs> as long as you can do that, you know, great. Yep. Got to be able to hook up sure. an MP10 trailer. Well, how many of us have like multiple MP10s that have just stock of that mm -hmm. damn trailer sitting there doing nothing? Brian? <laughs> I've got okay. a couple. I've yeah. got a couple too there. <laughs> there. There you go. There's your answer. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I, I like this. I might look into this. There it is oh, next to the uh, movie anniversary, which is not a very fair comparison, but hey, why not? But yeah, see, that's the same line, <laughs> isn't the MB, whatever? Oh, yeah. no, they're rebranding it, as it were. Yeah. It's the same thing. Though. So I have that anniversary one, and I remember when TF Source, like, they converted like all your points into dollars or something like that, where you didn't just have to buy whatever crap they were giving you that you could yep. use your points on. And I converted them all to get that. Oh, cool. And, yeah. Nice. So I think that's where I'm just going to stay. I'm not getting this masterpiece. And, so, wait, so you're going to buy it with TS source points, meaning you buy shop at TS source still. Well, no, this was last year or two years ago when this anniversary came out, the one on the, ah. the one on the right. Yeah, I spent my points to buy that. I misunderstood. Yeah, no worries. It happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll probably buy it just because of the fact that you get the, the head from the striker, not striker, but the um, Buster Optimus Prime, where it's yeah. the open mouth instead of the mouth plate. See, I like um, the mouth plate. I think that's what. Yeah. yeah, I like it too, but this is like, it gives you the new remolded, Torso as for a striker, but then it gives you the nice a Buster Optimus, yeah, and all that type of stuff. I wish they would have utilized the damn swords. So what do you do? Just fold these in and then just plug them in, or what the hell? Because yes. there's no handles. In all honesty, like if you were to see Michael Bay on the street, would you just punch him in the face or what? <laughs> so I would actually, um, I'd actually uh, kick him. I'd, ch I'd chicken out. That's what I. Yeah. I tried to call some scenes. I love hate relationship, man. Like, like I hate some of the things he's done, but then I love what he's done because the fact that these movies have done so well has helped us get a, a lot of nice figures and yeah, keep the line now, going. So it would it would depend on if I had a can of spray paint, but I would probably give him a stunner. <laughs> <laughs> and once he's done, <laughs> he's on the ground. I would then spray paint on his back G one, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd run away. That's what I would do. <laughs> and then I would probably throw out a crotch chop. And then I'd run. But that's, that's well, just how I that's how I roll. James goes in the extreme opposite of me, obviously, when it comes to this. So. No when you're gonna do something, you gotta do some type of wrestling move. I don't care. I hear you. you gotta throw it in there when you're doing a if you get into a little bit of a scrap, a fight, you know you're you know you wanna like God damn, I wanna like do a rock bottom on that. Try it. See if it, at least you know whatever. Yeah. Uh, see if it works. <laughs> I had a dream. Diamond last, <laughs> I had a dream last year where like I was in California or something like that, and I saw like Michael Bay get mugged on the street or whatever, and he got beat up pretty bad by some like ravenous fan. And I I walked over there, and people were like someone called nine one one, and I was like misdialing nine one one on purpose for like twenty <laughs> minutes. <laughs> like sorry, I can't I can't seem to get it right. <laughs> Something. <laughs> no. That's what you do, a curb stump. <laughs> right there. Oh, right, let me try one more time. Uh, one, 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 nine. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> one, nine, one. Nine, four, one, one. What is this? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, but, uh, man. Yeah, there's some in hand pictures of it again. You can see the retooling. So you're not just getting the exact same thing, but you are getting something a lot smaller. So, so it looks like it's, not, bus. it's probably a kit bash of a bunch of the other ones. Like, just, just take bits and pieces and then just fucking do it. But there's the back. So yeah, it does clean up better. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. I mean, they took this saw. They took the, <laughs> they took off the gas cans, <laughs> so you didn't have them on the back. So this looks a little bit more decent on the yeah. striker, or the Buster one. But, but yeah, there it is with the actual gas cans on it. So you don't have the sword sticking out of the arms. 
All right, we spent enough time on that shit. Okay, yeah. so uh, <laughs> let's look at fans' toys. Lots of good stuff with fans' Woo! toys. We're getting a nice 86 for season three cast. So can't wait. So there's Apache there. What a great looking figure. Beefy. I forgot how beefy is. Beef. <laughs> Yeah, so, he is. Where's the beef? That, he does look nice. Does look yeah. good, but yeah. he's he's getting his uh his little RC there too, which is cool. Fans Toys twenty four. Rouge. Rouge. RC. Ooh. Mm. Um, Fans Toys. You know, you gotta love them, but you gotta hate them. Uh, yeah. You know, there's no hoodlum. There's no like, hey, let's throw out Hot Rod. No, no, okay, no. Okay, they're no longer doing hoodlum. Oh, no, they probably are. They just need to always up the ante. Like, hey, here's oh, RC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So, uh, she won't be coming out probably until like at least 2020. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> probably right. <laughs> Will we be alive before some of this? Just keep me on life support, honey. Just keep me on life support. I know fans always going to come out with her. I know it. Anytime. It's it looks plug. good. I um I, I wish like they hit, they didn't movies. use uh I wish they didn't use cut swivels for the thighs. Um I figure in this in this day and age they can do a better job than that. Like find a different way to get this thigh swivel. But Yeah. Yeah. I mean That's my can. own that's I mean that's just a nitpick, really. Other than that. on a ball hinge, I guess, to yeah. rotate it on a flat uh, player's kai type of stuff, but it's not too bad. And just think, I mean, this guy's going to have die cast. Assuming the chest die cast, feet die cast. He's going to have some great squeakiness. Um, Does the bulkiness of the figure bother anyone? No. I think yet. Alan prepared us for this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I like, I like, the, I like that it looks better than it did on the show. So. Yeah. And, and the toy, there's no, there's no reason to make it look like the toy, right? Because all right. the 86 movie toys sucked. So. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I yeah. like how bulky it is. It actually it makes them look a lot more tougher, you know. <laughs> yeah, more heroic. Think you think? Yeah, yeah, more heroic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh yeah. Once he's That's next to idea. some other bots, then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll have a judgment on his side. Yeah. There's a shitty the alt mode. old modes. Yeah, yeah, it's like no, that, uh, <laughs> that helicopter mode looks mistransformed there. Just look from the front. Oh, Don't look at the back. Oh, it's a nice car mode. Then boom, look at that little ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks wow. like it's missing the wings on the side. Yep. Yeah. Call me crazy, but that pet propeller looks a little small. It's a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The car modes. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen any company so far do a good alt mode for Springer. No. Nope. That wows me like wow. right. The only one that's done is the Hasbro uh, generation. Yeah, well, yeah, the generation. That's about it. <laughs> that's yeah, about the and the Hasbro generations seen. doesn't look anything like the G one version. No. Nope. So, exactly. I mean that's saying a lot, right? I mean yep. I mean look at this thing. I mean that's why I started playing with Legos after this movie came out, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's good old Coot, their cup. Uh, so, yeah, so like within uh, within the ETR cast, obviously people have been talking about they don't like the, the tech on the chest. Yeah. I'm wondering if that's to distract people from the, <laughs> the, the, the two panels that come together to make the chest, maybe, you think? I don't know. Maybe, or focus you on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, man. It's it's odd, but <laughs> what do you got? You got this and you got Toy World. So pick your poison. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather do with this than Toy yeah. World. Uh, I, know, I think that head makes this pro I mean, that's the main yeah. thing I'm pulled to. I'm I'm not gonna buy this, but you know, that head looks so much like cup that I think it's yeah. just yeah, you know, you're right. that's all you need. Yeah. Oh, and you know you're gonna get another Cuphead in another release or down the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just 
typical fans toys. Looks like it's coming with a Target Master too. Yep. Yeah. Which is cool. Um, but and there's Spin Drift, their Sea Spray. Look at that heroic son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the back side of them. Nice and blurry. Yep. Yeah. That looks good though. It cleans up really well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there he is again. And then you got an alternate head, it looks like. So two. Or a sea spray. And we've seen these pictures before, but we got Omega. Colored. Yeah, is this the first time we've seen him in color? Uh, as far as like a real life prototype or whatever, because I don't remember. If we I, think, I think so. Ah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. Yeah, I, I can't remember either. Yeah. But yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> He's so gigantic. I love it. So good that I'm forgetting the $400 price tag. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I really like how they throw in translucent bits in there, too, on the chest. Just yeah. to kind of break That's it up a bit. Big. Fuck's sake, look how big Skyfire is. And then you got Omega right next to him. I mean, how many crystals? Yeah. He's huge. Oh. Gotta get a bigger shelf, boys. Yeah, that's going to be oh, nice. God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Space. Shit. I don't think that's gonna work in Chris's detox. No. Figure something out. It might even be like too wide for a detox too. Yeah, that's that's definitely yeah. gonna have to be like split between like two detobs on top of them. Yeah. But yeah. That fire looks really good though. Mac cleans up. Looks exactly. That looks killer. Like Omega. Damn. God. I can't wait. That jet fire is supposed to be coming. What next month? Supposed uh, to be. Yeah, supposed to be. Know. I thought it was supposed to be this month. Or no, yeah, yeah. it is pay, I guess. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, that Skyfire looks really, really nice. Love the colors on them. Yep. And yes, we know it's Jetfire, but from the show, it's Skyfire. We're going with Skyfire. Nah, I just say whichever oh, yeah. one's first. Doesn't matter to me. He definitely is a cool figure. It was, it was, he's so heavy, man. Oh my gosh. Like, Base smoke could be this a tad people. bit longer. Or not longer, but like wider. Yeah. 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 Uh, That's a big it. fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Almost bigger than the rock. Yeah, I know. It's like, you just get in the tank and we'll go kick some Decepticon ass. But yeah, it looks good. I never when I, I had Omega, or no, my friend had Omega, and we never would transform except for just taking his arms off to form the rocket, so we could just like, all right, we're getting in the rocket and just boom, <laughs> just go, and go off, and, <laughs> and just bring the rest of it. Like, all right, let's transform. Just stick his arms back on. Boom, there he is. Yay! This was just a pain in the ass. You untap this and then link this, link that, transform him, make sure the treads are on. and Yay. Oh, no, we need Omega to transform. Oh, shit, we got to transform him. <laughs> I was just thinking, the one thing that's really cool about this Omega is that little uh, the little escalator that goes right into that little cavity there in the rocket. So I wonder yeah. if they plan on doing some little little transformers or whatever. Like, uh, Who's that one company that did? Big Toys. Was that make toys like have some of those for so they can ride in the spaceship? Cause that would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would for all nice. use all use that uh, vroom vroom your toys. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty dope. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, two different faces. Oh, that's so cool. You can actually see his face in the. But he's in robot mode, and then you don't have his face there in tank mode. Too. Like it. All right, moving on to fans' hobby. So we're gonna look at the the final monster bot, which is grotesque. I don't know what they're calling him. They're calling him some weird name, like Fly Pro yeah. or Fly Pro, or I don't know what the hell his name is, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, I like the wings. Yeah, 
The back end of it reminds me so much that they could turn him maybe into like a Desaurus or something. Um, but it looks like he comes with some accessory pieces. You can see in the back there, but we'll get to that in a second. Right there. He comes with some face pieces Bye. for himself, and it looks like he comes with some face pieces for his compadres. Yeah. And with some flame effect pieces also for them. Oh. I really them. like how beefy these guys are. I know that turns some people off, but I, I like the, the beefiness and the chunkiness of these guys. I, yeah. I do too. I it do kind too. of sets them yeah. apart, you know, because everybody seems to be going for that more streamlined type deal, yeah. whereas these guys, they're just big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at what they are. They should that to me. They should be. You they know? should be. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They they're like a team that you know, you just call in to like just clean up and just destroy. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what? They're like some kind buggers. of suicide squad. <laughs> uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But there is a flame effect piece, and you can see it on. Oh, it's cool. We got the G one counterparts with them. Yeah. Yeah. Fly pro. Yeah. Fly pro. Um, but it's cool. Back end, the back end looks so much like this. Sort of wing, tail, split apart. Boom. Yeah, it looks like a double crosses back end. Yeah. A little bit. And these aren't too terribly expensive for what you're getting. They're what, like around the $115, yeah. $120 range? Yeah, they're not very bad at all. So, which, uh, which fiction is this, Jane? Headmasters. Headmasters. And there they are together. It's a good looking group right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you want chunky, which I oh. think is what fans hobby is going to be known for is the kind of hey, we don't we don't mind size. Um here's a roadbuster or they as they're calling him gunbuster. Yeah, this one I don't know about. That one's a little Oh, he looks he looks like a bad motherfucker though. He's a facing <laughs> boy. He does oh, look man. he does look like he kinda has a portion of the preliminary yeah. drawing that they showed a robust before he actually showed us in all the major drawing, I think. Oh, yeah, but I mean this is masterpiece scale. I mean it's like damn dude. That's a big boy. Oh no, I mean his legs are a little too uh, stumpy. Yeah. There's a back end. Do you like how the tires kind of tuck in? Or at least one of them tucks into the into the calf. That is, yeah. That's what is that? A gun holstered on his shin? No, nah, he's just happy to see you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. He reminds me of Bulkhead on Transformers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he reminds yeah. me of. But, um, just for that, the sheer, just the volume and how he is. It's yeah, it's cool. All right, Fan Tommy is giving us a trailer for their Scourge and for their Optimus, which is the G2 mold. Their, uh, was it Arch Enemy and Gunslinger, I believe is what they're calling them. But um, we kind of already knew that they're giving us a trailer, but we didn't know if it was going to unfold into a base, like the original uh, toy. And it does. Nice. But um, first off, let's take a look at the trailer. It's crazy. It's like a company that came out of nowhere, but they're already putting out some decent stuff. Yeah, yeah they're coming out strong. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that Overlord once we yep. get to it. But yeah, there's the base mode, which is pretty cool. It's, it's got like the that. disc shooters and everything. Oh, yeah. crazy. That's nice. It comes with That's a big effing gun. Right. <clears throat> and that trailer can work with MB10. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> not sure if it's going to be chromed or not, like the original, or actually the, the black combo. I think it was chromed. And the reissue of the G2 was for Optimus, but the original was not. It was gray. But speaking of the G2 Laser Optimus Prime, there he is. Their Gunslinger Matrix compartment. Looks oh, good. that's right. They made some tweaks to it. I forgot. Yep. We'll take a look at them here in a second. Back in for all you guys who like the ass for your robots. 
vehicle mode. And there's the tweaks. So the newer one is on the right here. This is the old one. So you can see the silver sticker chest piece. Hmm. Cool. I mean, it's a little more paint. It's good. It's a, it's a good it's a good place for them to start for this. One, it's a prime. It'll make some money. Oh yeah. And yep. I mean, in this mold, the original from the toys. Mm -hmm. I mean, that thing was pretty solid. I mean, all they had to do was uh, add probably a little more articulation and some paint. And yeah. I mean, they could just copy the transformation. So yeah, oh, it had a, it, for its time, it had enough articulation, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, now from when it came out, you're right. Top three Optimus Primes of all time. Yeah. Yep. Is that me? Right huh. All they needed was a, was a, a fast scoop and probably still hold up the day. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I have at least I think six, six of them. Wow. Really? <laughs> 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 really? Yep. Dude, yep. 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 Frank, you better catch up, dude. James got got a yeah, few on you. I'm more of a G1 <laughs> Prime collector, but uh, yep. I, I do original. own this. I do own this at least once. I own a G2. So got the original reissue, yeah. Black Convoy. Yeah, the Ultra Magnus and Who then the the Black Here the Goat. Would be yeah, I know. But it's not bad. But yeah, yeah it's only, definitely a great mold. Yeah, I only wish they could have done something with those tires on the shoulders. Like, just done something interesting with them, you know? Tuck yeah. Them in or something, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, at least yeah. with this, where they could tuck in and not have to see that. Right. Yeah. Because, hey, look, I can just roll you down. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Moving into their Power Master Optimus Prime. It's growing on me. Um, I was on the fence with this. I'm really going to probably end up getting the Make Toys first. But um, this looks probably once, if I get that Overlord, for this is probably going to be something I might pick up, I think. Yeah, um, man. It no, looks like they, they cleaned up the back, display. too. I'm sorry, Dan, what'd you say? Oh, no, so I was just saying I have to watch your review. It's not important. Wow. I just want to see how these these guys play or whatever, because these look like ones you really just want to grab and fuck around with. Yeah, and no. the, the I first don't know design... I around with them, but I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you don't play the toys right if you don't, James, so I don't know how you... All right, well, up there. The yeah, the first design of this had, like, some weird stuff going on behind the head. Yeah. Um, it looks like they've changed that a little bit. Yeah, it's just kind of weird that it's... I don't know. It looks like the head just pops on there from here, flips up, just sets in there. I don't know. It looks like it's... It's kind of what it looks like, yeah. It looks like it's a weird... It's it's not really designed too extravagant, in my opinion. It's just like the original. Boom, you put the, the truck in there. You're going to fold this out, close that up, fold his feet up instead of down, and fold them all the way up. And there you go. But I'll probably end up getting it because of that bad boy back there that we'll see here in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so there it is. It's got a base mode. Besides having just normal Dinrai or Optimus Prime. It comes in two parts, too. So you get the cab and the... It's not like the, uh, the Hasbro Takara, right, where it's all combined. It's oh separate. man, this looks good. Yeah, got bring sweating over there. Oh yeah, I'm getting. Uh, and then you got the God Bomber. <laughs> I'm take a cold then, shower after this show. But again, they went with the wings all the way to the top. I don't know why I had to copy the Hasbro design, the car design. Kind of down a little bit more, but it looks good. Yeah, this shit's really dope. So. Again, I love the the amount of love that's going towards the Japanese characters. Yeah, I mean it's about time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then we'll probably won't see it ever again, and we're gonna go into Beast Wars. Like, yeah. yeah. What do you think, James? You think think they'd be ambitious enough for a Fire Guts repaint? Uh, no. Do you, do you do you own do you own Fire Guts? Oh uh, yeah, the G1? Yeah, he does. Oh yeah. See, <laughs> I don't I don't own. Any rendition of that? What's uh, I do have the uh, the Bakun uh, Generations Prime that I got from Jay Roos, but mm -hmm. man, if someone comes out with a repaint in that color, I'm all in. 
it would make oh. sense if they did it, especially oh, with Overlord being there, and that's just like power up. Um, but I could see them actually repainting this into the Nucleon Quest, the black version, oh, um, and doing like a Nemesis type of God Jinrai maybe first. But yeah, I would love to see someone tackle the fire guts. Um, but you know, who knows? Yeah, maybe them or make toys. Wow. Yeah, but there's wow. Overlord. Good old Godmaster himself. Yeah, this one caught my attention. Now that I look at it, though, those arms are kind of short. Just a little. He's know. beefy. He's beefy. I've always wanted an Overlord. Carfax. Yeah, I thought about that, but I, I wanted the G1. Not I like the comic version, but I want G1. Uh, well, that's what you're getting with this bad boy. Yeah. Oh, Dan, do you need them in a specific scale? or? Uh, preferably MP stuff, because yeah. that's just where my collection's at. I mean, I have a few chugs. I have a little Lost Light shelf, but uh, I'd rather get MP, because I'd like to stand them next to Megatron and the rest of the Deceptive Creeps. Go. Gotcha. Uh -huh. All right, here's Cross Dimensions, Power Master Optimus Prime, or their, I don't know what, something Manus. Another one. <laughs> um <laughs> Looks, this is make toys. Um, looks good. Yeah. More stylized. Um, it's incredible. They're they're gonna get a lot of all that articulation. That guy just looks like it's gonna be. It would be tough to do, you know. And I like that his back. He doesn't have his legs. He's not right. doing a yoga pose. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I saw the review for their uh, striker noir. That thing looks killer. Yeah. All right. I'm waiting, man. Counting down. <laughs> Truck mode doesn't look too bad with the cab and the trailer and all that. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this gun configuration. Yeah. Sure, but other than that, that's it. It looks good. What? So you don't like the big long cabin guns? It just looks kind of. I like that. I. I just. This looks weird. His yeah. shoulder yeah. cannons. Um, kind of reminiscent of smokestacks, or even his old gun. But yeah, it looks good. All right, make toys. They're doing their. I forgot what this guy's called. Their their seekers. Probably Starscream. Um, yeah. But it's surprising that they're jumping into the seeker market. I mean, they announced that many many conventions ago. I remember. It's back when they released their sketches for Despotron. I think they even alluded to this was coming. Mm -hmm. So you got more options out there. Looks good. I mean, it's, hey, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very cartoony, nice and smooth. Posable. Yep. Cool. It is Starship. Okay, there we go. Not sure why they want to go that way route i would rather see them finish off maybe or give us a hint of maybe a their headmaster highbrow mm. or um yeah a brainstorm or something else instead of hey here's a seeker since yeah. you guys like spending that 179.99 um i'm sure this guy's gonna be what probably 150 140 dude you really think so I wonder well, what Chrome going. Dome is like 140, isn't it? Or 130? Oh, wow. Yeah. Their hard head is about the same. So I would assume this guy's going to be up there a little bit. Masterpiece size? Yeah. yeah. Um, you have the Null Rage. You can have either the Missile Quadrants on there. Uh, there's a the back end, which. Reminiscence of the MP11. Yep. So, I mean, we bitch about the MP11 a lot, but it seems like every other company is just taking it and just minor tweaking it, it's giving us exactly what yeah. we want. Well, I mean, no it's way. a good mold, man. It just, it's just, it's old. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> reused a gazillion times, man. But... <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're really going to have to scrap the entire design and start, you know, to do some other seeker like 3.0 for Starscream. Yeah. 
dying. I'm hoping they're not like gonna just say, "Oh, here it is." Oh, it's a MP11 A, you know, or something. MP11 A. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I refuse to pick on Takar. I'm not going to do it. I yeah. want to say that's Takar's way, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jet mode doesn't look too bad, except for the obvious thrusters here. You can tell that it's going to be feet. Would have been yeah. nice if I could have done something else there other than that. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Hopefully, you get a stand. I mean, that's the norm, it seems like, with any seeker, is you need to have a stand. Yeah, that'd be nice. Isn't it? that right, Hasbro? Yeah. Actually, it's Takara. Takara's yeah, Takara. Yeah, yeah, Hasbro will come bastards. <laughs> um, or some clear boxes, like so. That'd be dope. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> shit probably weighs more than the figure. <laughs> so I don't they're really right. <laughs> <laughs> Spending thirty dollars on shipping? What the hell? It only your package weighs about seven pounds. It's a damn clear box. Those bricks in there. Oh, that guy looks like he's amazed. I don't know. Oh, he's not looking at the make toys. Jazz. I was like, oh my god, it's jazz. Nah, he's he's staring down those acrylic risers. Mmm, <laughs> <Hey, buddy. laughs> I wonder. Does it transform? Does it transform? With enough heat? Yes. That's yeah. pretty dope. I yeah. didn't see that earlier. Oh, that. that little pose? That's that's some crazy articulation right there. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. It doesn't break up too bad. It looks, looks decent. That's right. Yeah. That's one thing that I wish that uh, companies, when they're designing a toy, looks at it 360 and pose it, you know, at every angle and look at it and be like, all right, no, that, it, I get the fact that some poses are going to break the sculpt. I get that. But I don't think that you should design it under one look and like, that's the only way you can have it. You have to be looking at it at a certain angle, you know, at this and that. No. And yeah. we'll see that here coming up with a certain bird. Um, oh. Here's their Cybertron or Galaxy 4 star screen. Which looks good. Those blades. Yeah, that's cool. He's something. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Matt Baldwin who's going to buy this. Yep. Deluxe. Yep. He'll definitely get it. <laughs> He'll star screen. Dude. Nice looking blades there, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do some trimming of trees. He could be cutting up some <laughs> pizza. Oh. Doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Not so quite as good as John. But stab him in the back. <laughs> Say, Jay, do you know what size this is going to be? Masterpiece, I believe. Yeah. It's all underneath their um, remaster. Yeah, remaster. Remaster. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. And yeah, there's his vehicle boat. Hopefully, they'll redeco him into all the rest of the seekers. Oh, you better believe it, but. I'm open. <laughs> I'm open. I see, that's probably why everyone does Seekers, because of the re of the repaint of you know the glory of the repaints you can do. I oh, think yeah. people are happy when they get to the Seekers, like, oh thank God we don't have to re engineer anything. We just gotta yeah. paint it different. Right. <laughs> and then talking about remaster here is um make toys is silverback, which is their eight face, which huh. move into Keith stuff. KFC. KFC. Oh, I was about to say, wait a second, what happened there? <clears throat> so there, KFC is doing their version of Eight Face. Oh, wow. After oh, just nice. seeing that, uh, that uh, what do they call it, grid or whatever that was of Make Toys, I think you probably want to wait. Yeah. Yeah, you probably do. Is this, uh, the the Eight Bot looking thing is kind of on point of the G One. Yeah, it is. Boy. Looks a yeah. lot like the G One. Little last hands and feet. Mm -hmm. um, not really Keith hands. Yeah, I don't yeah. Care. Mm. Not really digging the robot mode too much, but that's a big head again. 
That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. yeah, it does. A little headmaster in there, piloting. Almost looks like Megatron inside. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and then we got Snapdragon. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't look too bad. Yeah. I'm sure these aren't the final colors either. Or tolerances, as we've learned. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's always up and down with Keith. Oh, they're on a good streak, you know, so I mean they had to come down at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come back to reality. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's bring it back down to earth, you know. Uh, kind okay. of work. <laughs> this is, they're expecting way too much from us. We gotta bring down the standard. All right, all right. So but yeah, Dragon Modes, yeah. But Again. shuttle mode looks really good. Wow. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Um, is a slave to the G one. Big time. Everything about it. <laughs> Comes with a stand, so you know you're going to get that, which is nice. I don't know what this effect piece is for. A little flight but effect for when he's cool. flying. So, uh, Overlord's alt mode, the jet portion, was also an SR-71 Blackbird? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so these guys are from the same series, too, right? Him no. and Overlord? Meaning? No. 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 Okay. Just Overlords case. from uh, Master Force. All right. All right. Toy World Wave Break. I'm sure the audio listeners can guess what that is. <laughs> it's a hot rod. It is. <laughs> it's blur. Oh, God. Isn't this the one that Dust likes? A lot because he likes how frumpy he is. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. Will be, I guess the penny yeah. racer of hovercrafts. See, spring yeah. wave break. Yeah, I, thought, I don't know. I thought Dust liked this one. I may be wrong though. I couldn't remember if he was in for this one or X Transbots. It might have been X Transbots. Something. Yeah, I think that, I think it right. was that one. Yeah, that one's frumpy too. So it's funny how that's it's, yellow and this is not yellow. Yeah. Yeah. That is interesting. <laughs> Wait, this is toy, does this say toy? This is toy world. What is? It? Oh, that says ages five, or is that aces? I think it said fifteen and up. Oh, that says fifteen and up. Yeah, ages fifteen and up. <laughs> I was hoping I said aces. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, so here's Ocular Max. Is good old oh. laser. I, this, this is the no, first time I've seen this. Um, I I heard him talking about it on Chattercast. I was listening to the show, but no. I, I haven't seen this yet. This is something that I think wait, Ocular wait, wait, wait. Max, Mastermind oh, Creation. Russ, you didn't watch ETR? Mm. This past uh, no, I didn't actually. I missed ETR Monday. Oh, that's just great. Oh, you missed it? Yeah, I know. Oh. I, did. I missed a I missed saved uh, podcast. That's cool. Damn. <laughs> that's crap. Well, I haven't gone back to watch it yet. Go <gasps> down. Oh, <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment to reflect on that. Yeah, really. Russ did not watch. Smack, smack me in the hand. That's true. <laughs> I, I don't remember calling you out in the chat. No, oh. it wasn't in the chat. I, I missed the show. I was, I was uh, occupied. <laughs> oh, thunder dumper. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, Ocular Max's laser beak doesn't. Look good at any angle, unfortunately. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it's cool that he is an actual cassette. Yeah, they have a chrono so, Walkman. That's pretty <laughs> nice. <laughs> but we don't need the birds. The birds are bad, <laughs> but I don't. Wow. Get it. I don't I, yeah. I'd rather have a r rumbling frenzy. I know yeah, they're coming, but yeah. that's who I'd rather have. Yeah. Again, they. Sorry. They went from Ravage to this. Ravage being really good. Yeah, yeah. To like that's a huge bird. Right on. Mm -hmm. He's like a big chicken, dude. I'm sorry. I mean, oh. it would be cool if this the the backpack could slide forward. Uh, yes, it would be. If he couldn't land on water, but maybe that's it. He can go pontoon, <laughs> so he can land on water because he can't really make that. 
tower when it comes out of the water from the nemesis. Oh He's like, I just got to land. I can't make it up that high. Uh, oh I don't know. This, this is absurd. I can't believe they made this. It's oh, my God. God. <laughs> wow. Maybe they're thinking, you know what? We're doing too well. We need to bring it back. So they <laughs> don't like it so much. All There's right. a trend going on here with these companies. We'll knock it out of the park with friends in Rumble. Yep. Mm. But then they do this. Well, That's my creations, Ocular Maxes, Insecticons. We wait, uh, too late wait. To Ocular Max, Insecticons? I thought they're I thought they're making these with the reformatted line now. I guess not. Oh they are? I you uh, know yeah, what? I'm so confused. R, yeah, no, oh. it says R twenty six, so these are reformatted. Oh, now. they're reformatted, so they're chug. Well, shoot. Still too late. Juggle. Juggle reformatted, reformatted would be Masterpiece, right? No, wait, yeah. yeah. No, is no, no, now I'm really con- All right, yeah. Never mind. Let me stop talking. Re- right, reformatted. Is so they've been yeah. stringing us along thinking that we're going to get some Masterpiece bugs. But we're not. We're getting mm. some chug. That's fine. Fans Toys got us covered. Yeah. 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 And that other company we shouldn't name. I don't know what you're talking about. So. Yeah. Dance Project? <laughs> no. no we're, not talking about, we're talking about Masterpiece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll wait for Toy World to get in there. <laughs> there you go. But damn, those feet on shrapnel. Hmm. Huh. At least they tug in or they, they tuck away. <laughs> well, they tug all right. <laughs> there you go. Tug on <laughs> shrapnel, shrapnel feet is the tug. They're not hateful. I mean, they they're they are what they are. They're the Insecticons. They look the same. <laughs> they ain't glorious either. No, they're not great. I mean, but they're not like you know, so it's worse. And they're selling these as a three pack, I believe. So uh, that's probably smart. Yeah, yeah. It took too long. Regardless if it's Chug, yeah, um, right. I don't even remember seeing any of this stuff in the free formatted comic books. I mean, were they in there? I mean, I feel like see, but. No, I mean, I think they were supposed to be Ocular Max, and probably since there were so many other people who did them and finished them already, maybe they scaled them down mm. or reformatted, or or maybe they're not even scaled down. What if they're, like, pretty big? Who knows? <laughs> they're just huge. <Yeah. laughs> or maybe Lenny was like, look, man, I need Insecticons for my display case, and they're like, fine, we'll put them out. Well, <laughs> you know, like Lenny asks they should give him whatever he wants. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, right. That guy's like their biggest yeah. supporter, man. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of odd. But I did like uh, there was, what, a little sneak peek that someone thinks that they're going to be doing a reformatted guzzle. So that'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, speaking of reformatted, here's their Hot Rodimus, Rodimus Prime Hot Rod. Yeah, King like Slayer, the Matrix Bear, the... Neener, neener, I'm on the lost light. You're not. Um, <laughs> man, is he red or what? Damn. He, he's yeah, red. He's yeah, red. yeah. I don't remember him being that red. He's blushing. He's embarrassed. W- weren't they first going to make him like a different color maybe that people were? Yeah, that looks a little better. Yeah. Yeah, that might be the angle, but the way the light's in it. Yeah, I don't know. Go Could back. Be. Go back again, James. Might be somebody's using Flash, not using Flash, you know. Could be. I mean, Maybe it's Ronald McDonald. Off, yeah. Freaking bot. They saw a pug or something. I don't know. There's so many factors. <laughs> yeah. I'm loving it. Here we go. Do you like fries with that? Um, <laughs> alternate head. That's pretty cool. Obsidian yeah. over there, which is their world mold. Yeah, Hot Rod looks good. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm actually awesome. excited. Any of you guys get him? Nah. Nope. I think I, I am. I'm not sure. As much as I hate the character, I may be on. The, I may be in for this guy, just because it looks good. Well, let Wait. me ask you this: You bought Coulter, their Tarn, right, Russ? Yes, I did. Is that your gateway drug into their reformatted line? Uh no, no. I had, I had the other two. Uh, oh, Anarchist and the other two, uh, Anar- yeah, Cynicus. And, um, I guess, yeah. Okay. I'm just curious, um, like uh, Megatron coming out, this coming yeah. out. I know some people don't care about the Roadbuster as much, uh, but stuff looks good. Yeah, no, it does. It does. Yes, it does. Yeah, you know, it goes with my Chug stuff, so I'm okay with it. There is next to Generation Springer. 
and they they look good together. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, they do. That's kind of yeah. wild that they. Um. Damn. No, I'm definitely gonna have to get him. I didn't see. I didn't even think about how they would, how he would look with uh, Springer. Shit. I mean, I love my Cloud, Rodimus, but yeah. it's the exact same damn mold as Springer. So it's like, God, sure, it would be nice but to have something a little, a little bit different. Uh huh. So yeah. All right, and then there's our Cyclonus. Okay, this is a guy that I was really interested in, and a lot of people is is it is he done off the um the same mold as the um. What's the Lock, other? Lockdown. Yeah. Lockdown. Lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Jaeger. <clears throat> that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's said too, right? Yep. Anubis. Yep. Right. Anubis or whatever he's called. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't see this. He looks cool to me. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, he looks good. Um, except for, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay. He's a little too oh, that's his wings. Okay, that's what I was like, what the hell? Jesus, God. Is that tuck in zone? But like that. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay. I guess that is a um, very nice looking pose to like <laughs> do when you're displayed. It's the interns, man. They, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> they should get some sh little laughs. Um, but yeah. All right. And then moving on to. Okay, this is kind of weird. So. This is TFC's, uh, they're calling him Wild Chaser here. It's Raging Bull, I thought. That's what we looked at last week. I think that's what they named it. Maybe it got punked, or maybe we're getting punked right now. But this is part of their Trinity Force, their Road Caesar. This is Laster. Oh, okay. All right, cool. He has a leg. He looks good. Wake up, Charles. <laughs> There's no sleeping on the show. <laughs> All right, so this All is right. uh, Russ's little bad boy transformation. Hey, Drag this strip. Like cool looking dude. I like him. Yeah. Wish they had found something to do with the wheels on his arms, but that's okay. I can deal with that. <laughs> I will admit, I'm hoping this is exactly what we're going to be getting. Not that I'm getting this, but there's a nice and or at least a decent amount of paint on this guy. Uh huh. Look at all that. Yeah, this Ooh. this might be the one that's gonna maybe save the set a little bit. Very <laughs> sweet. It back a little bit. So pretty. Even the engine block got a little bit of gold on it. Yeah, he's he's pretty awesome. I, I like the I, I saw pictures of him a couple days ago, and I was, I was like, wow, all right. <laughs> Yes. Hello. I keep getting scared that they're gonna like just decide we're not doing this line. You know, we're not gonna do this these uh this set anymore. <laughs> yeah. So every time I see another one come out, I'm like, all right, all right, keep going, come on. <coughs> yeah, Charles. <laughs> huh? Huh? Who? Who da? Who dare? Who da? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so there you go, some more. Like, this is great. Detail. Yeah. Granted, yeah. though, you're not going to have this guy in bot mode, so you're going to have him in the actual combined That's mode. True. So hopefully the combined mode looks good. I yeah. mean, look at that. That looks pretty. I mean, that not, doesn't look Wait, like it's Transformer, right? But, nah. Or is it not? He's yeah, the, it is. He's the best looking one, I think, of in, in, you know, individually. Mm -hmm. So far, I think he is. I mean, I he he definitely hits all the all the cues for drag strip for me. So, yeah. Yeah. would you like a little rumble to come with him? That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would that, that was such an awesome scene when he first steals the car. Oh, yeah, that's no, great. Rumble takes it. Rumble takes it. <laughs> Again, detail, nice. Yep. Yeah, they did good with this. The engine looks fantastic. Now. Anyway. <laughs> All right, now we're getting into the kind of the knockoff section of the show. This is for Tyler. Yeah. Um, the Yes model, we saw this last week. They're doing the Make Toys um, Chrome, or, yeah, Chrome Dome or Coupla. And we already, I already featured this, but I just wanted to feature again because I like looking at people's stuff. 
that they have in the background. So we have a thumb drive. We have some mints, it looks like, in the background here. Got a weird looking <laughs> kind of, uh, I think it's Naruto, maybe? I don't know. That's um, one piece. One piece, yes. Um, speaker. There he is next to Mastermind Creations Hexatron. Yeah, there's the old one piece. That's what I remember seeing. Samsung TV, not bad. I don't see a pack of cigarettes, so that's all. Is that, <laughs> is, that, is that MMCs or is that the clone droid one? Could be the clone droid. Yeah. Most likely it is. Um, picture of a little kid. Cool. Lazy enough to have two cups of coffee but not take them back to the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. All right, so Wei Jing is also doing a Eva Prime. Oh wow! <laughs> as far as utilizing the um, Bayformer Prime look, oh, so it looks cool. <laughs> this is yeah, cool. I think that's awesome. <laughs> oh, this actually shit. looks really, really good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Blades look nice. It comes with a shield. I mean, it's like, wow. That's Man. Impressive. Damn. I wonder what, what's this retailing for? Anyone know? Uh, um, probably just under 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, well, right, right I'm sorry. The, uh, their first uh, their first release, which was the yeah. upscaled uh, Evasion Prime, was just under 100. This one. I don't know. Maybe because it's a different paint scheme, maybe they'll charge more. It might be. But it shouldn't be too much yeah. more, I would think. But you got the Nerve insignia there, which is cool from Neon Genesis of Angelion. And you can uh, store the weapons. Damn. So that's cool. Look at that. So for all you guys out there who want a masterpiece version of the Generations or classic Optimus Prime mold, well, we got you covered. JJ01 Supreme Leader is coming out. The big boy. Holy cow. Damn, yeah, look at that. <laughs> so there is next to MP10. I do like his build, but the hits. Oh. It's, yeah, it's just upsized. Yeah. yeah. New head sculpt, yeah. though. Got uh, an ab crunch. Not <laughs> Wait, what what about the uh, panels on the arms? Oh, it's oh yeah, the panels are gone too. Interesting. Yeah. Looks That's like they slide off or something. Yep. <laughs> That's cool though. People are gonna complain about that. Where where are the panels? <laughs> yeah, but you see on the box here. It's oh there they are. Yeah, there they are right there. And yeah, maybe they just pull off or something. Yeah, it looks like they, they plug in right there on the side. Oh, wow. It's pretty, I mean, damn, Hasbro, you couldn't figure that out? Yeah, really, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I know, right? Or at least have them where they can come closest to the arm and close in that gap and have yeah. part of the window fold up under the arm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're right. But there you go. So if your classics needs a uh, pop bear, you got one now. Pretty big. There's the head sculpt. Ten is uh, kind of go out a little bit more. It's funky. <laughs> That's Ab crunch. A couple of clicks there. Some renditions of the classics mold. And uh, for you Sharticon lovers, mech fans, toys, they love to KO everything. Watch out, they may KU next. But um, oh. here's a Sharticon. So I the, wonder if they're going to upscale this a little bit. Yeah, I think this might be an upscale of the yeah. Hasbro, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's got, I think, some added articulation. Wow. I love the Hasbro ones. Uh, um, this upscale one would be pretty cool. You see that it's got a wrist swivel. Yeah. And I'm sure there's some other stuff. Uh, 
I just want to know how much bigger it's going to be. <laughs> than the well, here's their upscales of Cyclonus and DX9's Tyrant and Cyclonus. <laughs> so these were supposed to be what? Voyager or like Chug Scale, right? Really? I think. I don't know. Oh. I, I, yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think you're right, Voyager. Yeah. That's yeah. wild, man. That's like one thing isn't too bad. <laughs> All right, moving on into some good stuff here. Now we're going into the Tamashi Nation's uh, anniversary, so I gotta kind of get out of this. Go on here, talk amongst yourselves. Um, so, so that's interesting. You guys, are you guys like think in? Are you in on like the upscaling, um, like upscaling, um, like Legends figures and stuff? I mean, that's hell no. Uh, going into a Voyager size, that's that's something crazy, man. That's really crazy, isn't it? I I don't know. That's a little strange to me. It's like taking Hasbro's chug stuff and upscaling it to masterpiece. Are you thrilled about that? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I mean well I mean, but even I mean that shark to looks like it's gonna have improvements. Yeah, I, don't know, I can't lie though, that Tyconis was looking very intrigued. <laughs> but they say that Takara might be tweaking it also, so it, the Shark Tacon might have wrist swivels. Okay, yeah, so he might be, be better to go with the Takara one then. It's got better paint at least. Yeah. So, huh. Interesting. All right, we're going to be going back and forth here. Oh. It's going to be fun. It's going to be one of them days. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Do, do, do. Well, while I'm at it, maybe I should uh, look at the chat. I always forget about the chat. Chat, 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 chat. All right, so we got books of love, books, yeah, books of love, Bambi, oh, Harvey, underscore, underscore, Dan, Private Con, Paul A. Uh, I know Dust was in there for a second. Sunday Heat, there's Dust. Um, what? Dust says, I guess we need a movie tear to Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see who else is in here. P. Shrek. Cool. AJ Smith. Dokar. Toys and stuff. Cool. I, I I appreciate everyone that's in the chat. And I, I apologize. I mean, times I, I try to get to the chat. Make sure I give you guys props. Because it's, you know, you guys are in there chatting it up with everyone. Bram's in there. Im oh my god, what the hell of a name is that? Imerp some door oh, what is that? Hot Rodimus Prime backwards. Cool. Like it. That's cool though. <laughs> um Dustbuster. Dustbuster? Dustbuster. Yes, Dustbuster. Rob Milton. <laughs> Uh, who else is in there? I think I said Bambi. Uh, going through. Uh, Milton, if you guys got questions too, uh, you know, we'll try and uh, hit them too. This isn't going to be as long of a show like last week. Justin Lynette, cool. <laughs> Internet personality. Uh, Knights of Icon. That's a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lionel Medina. No um, Deluxo. I guess he's just too damn good for us. Yeah, man. Jeez. Oh, let's, you know, once you get on stasis lock, star, forget man. about everyone else in the G1 community. Bastards. He's, he's just a big star, dude. He's a Four beastie star. boy now. Yeah, yeah he's a beastie boy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> uh, okay, Tamashi Nations. I have a mixture between uh, pictures that are from Toy Art, but also from our very own Hurricane BX, who helps co-host the ROC Hangout on Tuesday nights. And I really do appreciate uh, sending me those, these pics. Also for just being at the show too, man. That, that looked like fun. 
especially for a free um free you know convention all that type of stuff it looks nice i wish i wish that stuff happened on the west coast but they don't um so i'm packing up i'm packing up the kids and the wife and we're moving east so Tomachi Nations, um, this is their 10th world tour. They hit, uh, they started off in Hong Kong. They're hitting New York. That's the only city in um, the United States. And then they're going to, I think, someplace in Mexico, I think. I'm not quite sure. And then they're going to uh, Japan. So a lot of exclusives. A lot of exclusives that sold out, unfortunately. And uh, fuck you to all the scalpers out there with the Kaoken Goku. <laughs> um, suck a D. Uh, but there's Goku right there. That's the awakening Goku, but still. It's not a very flattering picture with the little indent there. But I do like this. This uh, picture right here was really nice um, to see. Like in a very, I mean, it's a, it's not an actual action figure, but man, that thing is, looks exactly like the awakening. Everything about That's it. Pretty cool. It's pretty badass. See from the side, see all the joints and everything. I mean, that would be cool if it actually is posable. Yeah. Funny thing about this, I actually saw a picture from later in the day. That top hand of his, his right hand, was actually stolen. Really? Yeah, somebody took it and walked ah. off with it. His so right he, hand? What? Yeah, he, he's missing that top right hand on the statue. Jeez. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Oh my goodness, people that do the stupidest thing. Look at me, I got a I got a Goku right hand. Or I don't know what they're gonna do with that right hand, but you know, whatever. If you were a girl, wouldn't you wanna just pose at that statue? Just like put your parts in where it uh oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, where are you going with that, buddy? Oh man. Hey <laughs> Let me do a command mail wave on y'all. <laughs> Can you feel it? Oh, I go Super Saiyan 3. You're really going to feel it. I <laughs> uh, never thought about that. Maybe I'll ask my wife that. <laughs> mm, honey, you see these uh, Gokus here? Um, does that do anything for you? No. All right. Yeah. Uh, there's a really giant size Shinron. I need that for my bedroom. Uh, yeah. 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 So what do you, what do you think, man? Is that is that like an inflatable thing or what the I mean, it just seems insane to have to set that up. That seems crazy. Damn, I would love to have it though. Yeah. Yeah. That looks nice. That's cool. Would you want yes. it to hold someone else's parts, yeah. Brian? No? Yeah, just pick up people and hold them in their hands. But that is cool. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be nice if they gave out a wish <laughs> and yeah. it dispersed and dispersed. Well, they did. They, you know, for those that could, they wished to get a, a Ko Ken Goku, and they got it. <laughs> yeah. And then they turned around and sold those on eBay because they're assholes. Yep. <laughs> or they tried to sell them in the groups for fucking three hundred dollars. Yeah. But Bastards. That shit pisses me off. Yeah. I really saw that. Dude bought two just for the sole intention of selling them. Yeah. Asshole. Whatever. You do. Yeah, whatever. Asshole. Hopefully, Karma's a bitch. Yeah. Hopefully, something happens. Maybe it's. I'm hoping they just do the new body and they're like, here, here's a standard release on the new body. That's, yeah. that's all I want. And most likely, they will do something. Yeah, they got him. Because that one at least comes with the um, effect pieces. I'm sure that they'll do one without the effect pieces mm -hmm. and such. Maybe, maybe not. But I did like this. Um, the little different sagas that they've done that corresponds to the anime and all that. So that was pretty cool. And then they actually have the displays. Pretty badass. Oh, for sakes. There we go. And then there's a retail counter, and then the World Tour ex exclusive items. No one really gives two shits about this over here, but they want everything over here. Um, <laughs> but... They did um, have pre-sales, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jose picked up the Megazord, and he oh, said yeah. it's really nice. You know, when he posted those pictures, to me, were those prices, were they were they comparable yeah. with retail? No, yeah. they were more. They were they? Okay. Were they? Yeah, that Megazord was like 
what was it? Only like three hundred bucks. Oh uh, well, actually, I was I was wondering about the just the figure arts figures because oh, no, the figure arts figures no, they're actually cheap like uh, that. Okay. I Those think the Wii's right. was like thirty five or I mean it was pretty cheap for some of these guys. Okay. Yeah, because I thought that that looked very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, fifty a piece or whatever that was about right. Yeah. The Silicon Gokin stuff was a little little over. Yep. Well, they had to ship it all the way from Japan to get here. Oh, like, screw that. China, but... Yeah. And they also had the Street Fighter stuff there, too, which is... Uh, I'd be tempted, but I don't really need those things early. Um, I would love to get this, though, and hopefully they're going to be releasing it. Um, the Shinron. I know that the Band Bandai is actually doing or coming back with their Dragon Ball lineup. Which they're doing a build a figure. They're six inch figures, but the build a figure is going to be Shinron. Those will be released at mass retail, but they're not going to be as great as obviously figure art stuff. But still, the Shinron looks nice. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Articulation. Oh, I totally need a Shinron, a good one. How about Purunga? Oh, definitely, dude. Give, give me all the dragons. <laughs> Bring I'll back the GT, Nova, and all them. Yeah, Omega. Give them all to me. More all right. All the better. So we got a Kid Goku. Corrin in the background there. Not sure if we're going to get a Corrin. So is this yeah. like for flashbacks and stuff? No, this, this is from Dragon Ball. Yeah. This is the, the, the original series. Oh, Goku okay. still had his tail, and he was... Underneath Master Roshi and training with Krillin and all that. Going on adventures with Bulma and Yamcha and King Piccolo and all that kind of stuff. And then they and then they grow up. Basically. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this looks good. I'm glad they're continuing with this. I, I I could use some Dragon Ball figures. Yeah. The Red Ribbon Army. Yeah. Like Corrin's a little big, but I mean He looks exactly like what we got from the the Jack specific line or back in the day. I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's see. I actually have him on my desk here. Yeah. That guy? Yeah. Well, I can't see him. Screen sharing. Oh, that's right. Yours is stupid. But... I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, the only thing this guy's missing is the whiskers. <laughs> but, yeah. but I do like, um, he does, I think he comes with a Nimbus, which we'll see here in a sec. Right yeah. there. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, Happy go lucky. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know some people are, are mad because it doesn't look exactly like the anime, but I mean, uh, I think those smaller it. kid bodies are a little harder to uh, to make. I mean, because you don't see a lot of children toys, yeah. you know, outside of like actual kids' toys. But I, I mean, yeah. Kids. Do you really want a kid Gohan? I mean, I don't know. Oh, I do. You do? Even with, how about with the four star Dragon Ball on his hat? Fuck you want yeah, that version? Give, to me. All right. give, give me all the versions. Okay. The way you guys feel about Transformers is the way I feel about Dragon Ball. Ah, so you want everything. Ah, yeah, I want cool. everything. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but yeah. I think he looks good. But you got to remember also, figure arts, you're going to get a repaint as an exclusive. Yep. <laughs> premium Or a premium edition is what they call it. So I'm sure possibly you might get a different face. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. I don't know. There's always hope. But that Nimbus looks really cool. And I did like the picture that um, Jose had. Uh, they actually had a life-size Nimbus that he um, had a, took a picture of himself on. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one. Just had to go back and look. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, it's so good. Yeah, it does look good. Moving into the Saiyan saga, a couple of characters that we've uh, wanted to get for a long time, uh, that, that Vegeta and Nappa. Oh, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Um, no. Yamcha and Tien. Fuck yeah. Give me Where's my Jiaotsu? Oh. Yeah, no shit. Uh -huh. Hey, Jiaotsu. And a Bulma. I take a Bulma. Yeah. Not as high on the list as the Z Fighters, but yeah, I wouldn't mind yeah. it. Well, she's always there. You gotta have the dragon radar. You gotta, I mean, she could come with the, the seven Dragon Balls. I mean, there's stuff. Yeah, that'd be dope. A <laughs> Ginyu <laughs> Frog. Oh, I actually, I've, I've got the Ginyu Frog from uh, Jax as well. Yeah. Bought that a while back. Oh man, I wish I would totally spend the money if even if it was 200, 250 bucks, if they did a figure arts Ginyu Force. Oh, dude, oh, I know. 
All of them. Oh. I was telling my brother the same thing. You drop them all at once, dude. I don't care the price. I'm buying them. Yep. Oh, and, and uh -huh. you can do all those poses. <laughs> That's uh -huh. how I have them. Oh, man. That would be uh -huh. so nice. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. But there's Yamcha. Yamcha looks really good. And he's got the long hair this time, which is dope. Yep. So I wonder if they'll yeah. do a two-head pack or what. Maybe that other one will be an exclusive or something. The short hair that he yeah. had from Cell? Yeah. I do oh. like the fact he's got the scar on his eye and his cheek. Yeah. That's nice. I wish they would have posed his arm a little bit better so it's not breaking too much. Yeah, but it, it works. Simple move of the shoulder there. But right there. Damn interns. That's the worst. <laughs> 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 but um, you can uh, plug that back in. I, mean, I should go intern for Tamashi. Don't worry, yeah, I'll pose your figures just right. Talk about an awesome job. What are you talking about? Of course Yamcha that. didn't make it to the show. He went missing on the way here. I don't know where he went. <laughs> What do you mean he just quit? And where's all our stock? <laughs> I don't know. He's gone. <laughs> but the mold looks really nice. This, I mean, the sculpt, the look, the kanji on him. I mean, it's oh, yeah. awesome. Just stepping it up with each, with, each, with each and every release. It's fucking great. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Love it. I'm sure Dust would be like, skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> Start talking. <laughs> Let them have their Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> we like it. Yeah. Get your ass up, Charles. This is some good shit. Right. Like, Take a lap. Sleep over here. <laughs> but yeah. Now, I wish that they came with effect pieces. I would love to have like that little, what was it, like a little spirit ball that he has. Yeah. I forgot his actual move, but that he yeah. controls with his fingers. I'm sure they're yeah. going to do that, yeah. but they're still like in the, you know, the prototype phase, so they're just kind of showing them off. So it's one of those, hey, it's coming. You know, yeah. once they actually get to release and you know, once we get those promo picks like we did Nappa and Vegeta, you know, then that's when they're going to show off the effects and what they come with. So I'm you sure they, get, they, they got something. Oh, yeah, why wouldn't they? I mean... Like, well, look at all the rest of the release. We haven't gotten Jack for which, a little well, bit. Which ones? Like, an, uh, like an, Trunks and Vegeta, the last ones, I don't think they came with effects. No. Cell did um, what he did before. Gohan did. Gohan no, did. you're right. Some of the newer ones haven't, yeah. Actually, yeah, uh, I guess it's pretty few far between now that I think about it. He better come with a, a shit ton of like hands and face sculpts yeah. and all that, I'm hoping, but yeah, I kind, of, I, I kind of want a little gel of the wolf fang fist. I think that would be kind of dope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, moving on to TN with the tri-beam. Yeah, that would be dope. I wonder if they're going to do a shirt uh, or like him wearing his full gear or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully that's not like an exclusive or something. Yeah, that's the only that's the only TN I have is from the Jack specific line. He's wearing his garb from Majin Buu, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, I love the episode with him in Cell Saga where he's taking on Cell. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's, I was just about to, yeah. he's about to die, but he's just driving so, and he's just kicking his ass. Yeah. So badass. Dude. Just sitting there, just killing himself. Keep Cell down. That shit was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to have all these guys together. It's going to be. What's that? What's that? I was just saying, what's strike for the Cubans? Assuming TN is human. Yeah, he's human. Yeah, okay. he's got three eyes. Yeah, he's just a little, you know, creepy, but it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Chiaotzu would be great. Um, but yeah, this looks good. I mean, it sucks. It's it's nice that he can do the pose for the tribing, but it just seems like everyone's going to have a pose like that. Uh huh. Oh, then we got our favorite Saiyans, oh, yeah. Vegeta and Nappa. Oh. Cannot wait for those two. And uh, do we think that Nappa comes with a certain little green guy? Dude, I hope so. Oh. That's cool. And that that's a lot of such for a big dude. Dude, that's that's what I want. I want Sabermen and I want Cell Juniors. Oh yeah. Army built the shit out of those. <laughs> but I think uh I think I read somewhere that somebody thinks that the Sabermen's actually gonna come with Yamcha, maybe. Oh cool. Oh so, man, if he had a battle damage effect for his back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love that stuff. Yeah, dude, I'd love to get some. I definitely need some Cell Juniors and Saber, man. Yeah, it looks good. I don't care. It's not even articulated. I mean, that's the same thing with Chaozu. I don't even necessarily need Chaozu to be. You can just have him standing there, and you can have the one that attaches to Nappa's back, and I'd be happy. You know. Yep. That would be cool. Just threw that in there. All right, Frieza Saga. Nothing new here, so we're not going to really take a look at it. Individual. Yeah. So we already have those. Seen them. I think, I think oh, it's but, funny they have Krillin as now on sale, even though he's fucking not. Yeah, no kidding. He's all aftermarket. Same thing with Frieza now on sale. Yeah. Go to hell. Huh. Shit's so expensive. Not they better good. re-release these two. Yeah, I'd like I, to get a get a Frieza because I just had the knockoff, which is good, but. Yeah. Yeah. I want the official. And then we got the Cell Saga, which I'm not going to go over. We All that stuff is out. I didn't realize how deep they were in the Cell Saga with their figures, yeah. you know. I mean, it, it was crazy, like, seeing all of them actually, like, having them uh, separated by their Saga and all that, like, how deep this line actually is. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. I would love to see a Dr. Jiro Android, oh. what, 19 and 20? That yeah. would be cool. Or, yeah. I don't right. think it's going to happen, but I, I'd be all for it, too. But you never know. Those guys were cool. remember yeah. seeing that. I was like, because I, I knew about this stuff from Japan. I'm like, okay, those are the androids. All right. But then when you, I didn't know about, like, 19 and 20, I'm like, who's the fat dude and the skinny old dude? What the hell? Mm -hmm. huh. And the one talking. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. Good stuff. But, all right, moving on to Majin Boo. This looks so good. Oh, oh some good God. shit here. I wish Vegito. I should have have a boo also, but oh well. But look he's, at that. He's, he's got to be coming. That Gotenks. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Super Saiyan Gotenks. Hell Super hell Saiyan hell. 2. Super, Sa Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Yep. Got it. Got him on order too. And at Vegito. <laughs> yeah, Vegito's pretty cool. Yeah. I have to buy another one because he comes with two heads. So yeah. I can have a both modes, but yeah, go tanks, and I believe he's coming with his little ghost buddies. Yeah, from what I saw at that whatever show that they, he premiered at. Yeah. Wait, so did he have the Super Saiyan three hair as well? I don't remember that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my IG. But that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I just I love it. I can't wait. This is the one that's oh. gonna be a badass. Oh man, watch it, Vegeta. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, dude's packing heat. He looks <laughs> killer. Oh, that looks that looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> he had Tabora and he had Bobbity and he had Boo, obviously. That's what I'm saying, Supreme James, give guy. me everyone. Just Hell, I'll take the everyone. announcer guy. <laughs> Dude, I would lose my shit if they gave if they gave us him. I'd buy that in an instant. That much cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks so fucking good. I just love the look of the without the armor. He's yeah. in it. That, that is yeah. that's badass. Yeah. Got the veins, Super Saiyan 2 going on. Yeah. Granted, Goku was still holding out on you. He could still whip your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I don't remember. I posted something about Dragon Ball and uh, Tron Viper on IG. He asked me if they planned on doing this yet. And I, I said, you know, at the time, this was only like a week or so ago. I don't think they have anything. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. And then, bam, today they drop it. Yeah. It's like, there yeah. he is. Fucking Majin Vegeta. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this one. Yeah. Oh. And then there is Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the new mold, new hair. New head, so he can actually support his head. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have the original, which is nice, but yeah, he's a, kind of a floppy mess. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't buy that one. He's expensive now. Oh. Okay. Uh, and it's not worth buying. And just yeah. wait for this this guy. But wrong tag there. Um, yeah, I was just about to say there's another case of the interns fucking up. That's definitely not a statue. Yeah, it's not a figure. It's zero. It's not thirty five ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> not even. Oh. oh. But yeah, there he is. Oh. I'm sure the halo is removable. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, he's so good. I can't wait. Good episode two when he turned into Super Saiyan 3. Yeah. Shook the world. <laughs> Pretty oh. badass. 
after or before Dragon the Fist. Video. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, moving on to Dragon Ball Super. Look at that. Yeah. Super Saiyan God Goku. Yeah. And one thing is it kind of sucks they're not using that skinny body that they showed him on before, but I mean it makes sense why they would have the that same buck. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I may get this guy. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll get him. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. yeah I'm trying yeah. to find that golden freezer for a decent price now. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't care for the Super Saiyan blue Goku and Vegeta. I don't care for those for that gold one. Really? You don't? Not even just for the head sculpts to put on like that's, that's one too. I have. No, I just I don't know. It's just something about it. I just don't care for. I think I'm. I guess in this case, just keep bringing up Transformers. This is like my G one or whatever. I mean, I love Super and what they're doing with it, but that blue is just kind of it's kind of silly to me. Yeah, it's. I mean, I get it. They they need a natural progression into more powerful. Form. Would you rather have GT? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched look. enough GT to have an opinion on it. Oh, you haven't? Oh, well, no Super Saiyan 4. No, not yet. I mean, I know about it. I just haven't experienced it just yet. It's not bad. It's, well, okay, it's kind of weird. You I, got I mean, a little I, kid Goku, and then... Oh, yeah, look. I got the, <laughs> the Para Para Brothers thing. That's about as far as I've gotten it. It's not too far in. It's not bad. Xenoverse. No, I fucked things. up on this right here. These are oh. these, these just released in Japan, and I could have picked it picked up that trunks for thirty five and shipped it with my Ami Ami order, but I found out too late. So I gotta wait. Oh. So I actually do want that trunks. I like the way it looks. Yeah. Not that other one. I don't give a shit about that. Even though they probably are gonna use that other body for trunks. For yeah, they will. Updated trunks, because that's all he is. All yeah. right. All right. All right. All right. Good Talk show about yourselves. All right, so that's the Dragon Ball Z part. <laughs> Charles is barely hanging on there. Russ, I don't know where he went. I know. <laughs> they don't want this to be a long show, but Whoa. I have to back up. <clears throat> I just realized Brian's gone. Where'd he go? Brian left. Bastard. I'm about Dragon Ball. Uh, like, screw I this. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping there left is. flies. Whatever. Fucking Transformers fans. Fucking Transformers. He, he starts talking about Dragon Ball. We all go, fuck that. We're out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Although I like Dragon Ball. It was all right. I got my I got my son into it. He was a bigger fan than I was. Um, But I got him into it, so it was kind of funny. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah it's cool stuff. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty I'd like good. To follow, I'd, like, I'd like to watch the whole series from the very beginning all the way through. That's what I'd like to do. Because I didn't get to do that. I got to watch the piecemeal. And yeah. it'd be the only thing I'd say is you skip the Great Saiyan Man saga. That's not worth watching. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got that last year for my birthday, and I spent a whole day watching I'm like, man. I'm never doing that again. That's like the only part of the game. I'm like, that was just a whole season of filler. And it's just like, holy shit, this is bad. Yeah. It was cool to see how, like, all of a sudden, Gohan is training. He's like, can I go? It went Goten's like, can I go, um, like, yellow haired like you? Like, what do you mean? Like, Super Saiyan? Yeah. Like, holy shit. <laughs> it went Super Saiyan 2 <laughs> that quick and all that. Yeah. That's pretty badass. Yeah. And then Trunks doing the same thing in front of Vegeta. It's like, all right, shut up. We're going to the park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great same man saga, you can skip that. Not worth it. It's worth it, dude. <laughs> you get to see the the budding romance between Gohan and Videl. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Alright, you guys see the Pacific Rim? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, rising. Yeah. So Sola Chigokin. Um well. Bandai's doing the Pacific Rim figures and uh, in corresponding to the movie February 2018, but they're supposed to be, as far as I've read, in line with the Sola Chigokin line. So I thought that was pretty cool. If you're familiar with that, they're you know around the 11 to 12 inch scale figures. Maybe a little bit shorter, uh, depending on which one, but die cast and all that, so that's pretty damn cool. <laughs> So there's Gypsy. 
Gypsy again. Or Gypsy. Gypsy to the side. That was awesome. <laughs> Gypsy up close to the side. All black. I'm not sure if that's exactly what he's supposed to look like or is this just what they wanted to show, but that was, that was it. I'm, bad. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. Yeah. But I do like the fact that it's going to be part or kind of at least in scale with the um, Solo Chikokin, so like Voltron and the Megazord and all that. All right, so here we have the figure arts Batman, the Yes. Batman? Uh-oh. Jane? We lose Jane? Jane? <laughs> I hope not. How <laughs> uh, about me? me sleeping on the job? <laughs> <laughs> Charles has been waiting to say that forever. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Wow, I got kicked out of my own uh, hangout. Wow. Well, that's weird. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, we're still, still going. Um, yeah. but, uh, still that's, still alive, that's horse shit. Well, that sucks. Um, I was just talking, and all of a sudden, I went quiet. I'm like, wow, you guys don't like Batman. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let's see if we're still alive. It's still saying on my end. Yeah, I still see All that. Right, well, let's, let's let's keep it going till it says you suck and you're out of Google points. Um, you guys see the Batman? I do, I do. and I yes, like sir. it. All right, cool. So there we go. There's Batman. Hopefully, we're still alive. So this is gonna be a really great off-air hangout of just looking at toys. <laughs> and shit. Yeah. But um. There he is. Yeah, the YouTube is still sh is showing Batman, so I think you're good. Cool. All yeah. right. Well, um, I'm definitely picking this up just because I want a movie line Batman. I know. I'm yeah, considering it. Yeah. Um, so, sixty bucks coming out in July, Dark Knight. Cool. Yeah, it's not bad. And then we got a Bat Pod. Yeah, I sent that to Chris earlier, and he's like, uh, you know, I don't think that could be any better than the Mafex one. And I was just like, what? Really? Just say, Your arts can't be better than Mafex? Are you kidding me? Get out of here with that. <laughs> I mean, they got two legs attached and all that stuff. I mean, it seems <laughs> like mean, they'd yeah. be pretty superior. <laughs> Prototype's probably better than the final Mafex one. But I don't pretty know. Pretty good. We don't know how much the... Uh, the bat pods retailing for and all that, but it was kind of cool to see. Yeah, that's awesome. I tell you, whenever I see that scene when that thing is first shown and it has the wheels like spinning over each other, like yeah. vertically or whatever, uh -huh. yeah, that's just crazy shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know what's going on with this, but at first, when I first saw the Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker, I was like, Man, that looks like shit. Then we saw some of the <laughs> pictures. I'm like, wow, okay, that looks good. Huh. Now it's back to it looks like shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe it's this. You can't put that much light on it. Maybe it's in a dark alley setting. I don't know. Angle of the dangle. Hey, damn. I I don't know. Not uh, fully sold on it anymore. All right, so here's Doctor Strange. Flame effect pieces he does come with. Yeah. So, $85.99. Damn. Eh, it's a pass for me. Uh, Iron Man. What is that, the Mark II? Pass. Because we need more iron, then. Iron Man 6 with the Hall of Armor set for 120 bucks. Pass. Good on that. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming looks pretty good, and I like the um, the wall accessory piece. That one's got me conflicted because I like Spider-Man. I love the way it looks, but I just don't know if I want to start a movie verse line. Yeah. Because then I got to backtrack and get that Captain America, which I've been teetering on for ever. How many have they released so far? Two. How many what? Captains. 
Yeah, at least two. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mayfex or Figma might have released the first movie, but doesn't matter. We found out that the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy version 2 Star-Lord will be coming with some effect pieces and that the Rocket and Groot are going to be sold separately. Hmm. So, cool. And here's some WWE wrestling figure arts. I'll get flack for this. I'll get flack for this, but I think they look like shit. <laughs> no, was WWE, what do you expect? I've heard other people say that too. Um, the posability, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's what I was like, what is it? What is it that looks like shit about them? To you? The well, whatever the same. I don't like them. Um. Well, here the Kane and the Undertaker don't look too bad. I think they're they're progressively getting yeah. better, but like that Triple H, um, mm-hmm. the, the, I, I the definition the of the musk, the, the whole the body doesn't look right. Right. And <laughs> I don't know. I just maybe I'm just happy with the the Mattel stuff, the Elite, and I don't need to spend for me, fifty bucks for these. Maybe and maybe I'm weird, but I don't like. I don't like seeing the uh, the joints so much. The joints just look like, and I know it's hard to hide that, you know, yeah. hard to cover that up. But I had the same problem with the figure arts Bruce Lee, the shirtless one, you know, without a shirt. I mm-hmm. hated that. Man. I was like, it's ugly. Ugly. It's I ugly like that shit. one. I didn't like it, <laughs> but but if you put a shirt on him, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You would think that you could hide the joints a little bit here with like the usage yeah. of elbow pads, knee pads, and stuff right, like that. Right, 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 right. Exactly. You could do but, something. I, I don't know. Yeah, they just don't look that great. All right, here's the Star Wars um, movie uh, realization or whatever these are called. The samurai. Oh, the samurai. Old yeah. school looking stuff. Looks good. I just I can't dive into this. Uh, we saw these pics from last week, but there's the Django Fett. James Jango, okay. Yeah. And then we got the Darth nice. Maul. Darth Maul looks pretty good. I like, that, I like that head sculpt on him. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. I do too. Yeah. Just looks evil as shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. There's a prototype Boba Fett. There you go. That's <laughs> awesome. He's going to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So that should be fun. Mm-hmm. I do yeah. like this. I don't know if this is actually going to get released, but um, a Darth Vader lightsaber katana with staff. <laughs> she looks badass. <laughs> put it up with the rest of my put up my real swords. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the rest of what we'll be getting later on. So we got the crimson. All right, Crimson Guards, I want to say. They're Emperor Royal Guards. We have uh, Gamorrean Guards. And some other Marvel stuff. That Hulk, that's funny. We have a troll. Um, <laughs> War Machine looks pretty good. Wolverine. All right. Would it be a stretch if they did the Silver Samurai? Oh. I don't know. Marvel, maybe. The one character that actually fits into this world. Um, there's the Hulk. Daredevil. Can you go back one. On the Hulk there? Yes. Did they not give him pants there on the side? I don't think so. <laughs> Free balling. <laughs> he does not want. Assume my... <laughs> I. It's a sumo warrior, man. Look at him. Yeah. Bakuma and the Hulk had a child. That is it. Bakuma. Daredevil. Spider Man, which we've already seen. And if you got a regular one, you're going to have a black one. I have the black one, of course. Hey, yeah. Now, this was pretty cool. It's Shigokin um, Millennium Falcon. I'm hoping this is true. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to ask. Um, i going to ask Jose more. If they mention this, but I absolutely love the the Soul Chigoku line, and I like that they're doing more than just the robots. They uh, they did the the Yamato, the Andromeda. They did Arcadia's you know 
Captain Herlock's ship and all that. If they do the Falcon, that would be cool. Absolutely awesome. How big are these, typically? Uh, let's see. The Yamato is, what, about 12 inches long? Hmm. It'd probably be a little expensive. I mean, the Yamato, when it came out, was like around 240 220 So this would probably be in the $300, $350 range. $350 range. But, man, die cast, movable parts, all that, with stand. Oh. Possibly some minifigures to go with it, because that's what all the rest of them came with. Here's a Chugokin R2. We've already seen the C3PO that was released, I think, last year, the year before, which retails for roughly around 400 bucks. Um, die cast, all that. R2 is going to be a little bit cheaper, so the garbage can's only going to cost you about 280 300. Ah. Light up features. And such. No, it's it's really cool. Still live. Am I just doing this for fun now? No, no, no. We're still live. Okay. Yeah, we're, yeah. Yep. We're still on. So here we have the figure arts Street Fighter stuff, which I know people are getting early. I take the cami, I guess. They had that. Naruto. Is it Naruto or Naruto? Naruto. I say Naruto. I say Naruto. Naruto. But... Naruto. I, I say Naruto. it both ways. Cool. This stuff. Depends on how I feel that day. Cool. Oh. There you go. Yes. Yeah, there's Minato. Hey, hey, that guy, they really do a lot of those figures. Naruto, it's cool. Uh, uh, Garo is like one of my favorite characters. I gotta, yeah. I gotta get that. Gara's badass. So, Russ, are you like skeet, 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 skeet on this stuff right here? I love Naruto, man. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Cool. Nice. One of my favorite things. Is... We know Jay Ruse is skeet, skeet, skeet all over Sailor Moon here. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I, I, I have tuxedo mask, so I can't uh, hate on Sailor Moon too bad. So, one <laughs> thing I will always remember being on ETR and J. Roos pulled out that Sailor Moon. I'm like, huh, really? Okay. And I was like, I don't feel so bad buying these Figma stuff <laughs> as, as yeah. like Battle Vixens and other stuff. I'm like, all right. I don't know. That's cool. Sailor Moon's, you know, I've never watched it, but I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, Anna and I were big fans of Sailor Moon, man. That was oh. one of our back in the uh, 90s. Great, great show. <laughs> Now we got some Mega Man, Rock Man. I'm not sure if these are the D arts. And then some Neon Genesis Evangelion. Ah, oh, he looks cool. <laughs> uh, good. And, um, and then we got oh something that I'm thinking about buying. But um, yes. wow. the Mega Zord, the next in the Silicon Goken lineup. I don't know. It's funny that that retail price there is like three hundred dollars. Could you go oh. back to the store that you bought it? Because I saw the tag and it said like three fifty or something. Could you like, hey, that says two hundred ninety nine on the tag over there? Huh. Are you scalping shit? But that looks good. Um, saber tooth tiger is really big. Yeah. Um. But in that sword, whoa, that sword's big. But yeah, it looks <laughs> good. You know that seems this has got a really really good articulation too. The combined moves probably gonna be pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm sure it's a heavy yeah. snow bitch too. Yeah, I bet it is too. That's that's nice, man. <sighs> I cast. I'm hoping. I know that um most likely and I think Jose stated it too. Kind of chatting a little bit. He's, he thinks that they're going to be releasing a Dragon Zord, or they should have a Dragon Zord complement the Mega Zord here down the future, down the road. I mean, if they do a Dragon Zord, that's really going to pique my interest. That's badass. Oh, so, yep. Oh, man. I, uh, that's going to be one of those things if you can afford it. And if you're a Mega Zord yeah. Power Ranger fan, you know, this is probably your yep. definitive, like their Voltron. And yeah, the like Ultron's it. starting to go up in price. Yeah. Uh, so, now, didn't they sort of release a masterpiece line 
too. The legacy. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm sure those collectors were trying to chase those down. So. Yeah. Know. They re-released. Uh, they're re-releasing the dragons. I'm not sure about the Megazord anymore, but um, goes for a little bit. So almost to the point that maybe you could justify buying the Solar Chico conversion. Yeah. But yeah. Now if they did a Solichigokan Titanus. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Man. That'd be a big boy. The, yeah, it would. It's chariot. <laughs> it's just really I mean it's it's it is what it is, but the, the pterodactyl is one of those shittiest swords ever. Because <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, well. it's like a, it's a, it ends up being a chest piece. That's it. You know? Yeah, it's got nothing. There's no filler that you can take off and maybe plug in somewhere else just yeah. to make it look full. But now nah, it's uh, but yeah, that yeah. looks so good. You know why they don't care about the Jane? Because they know most people are going to display this combined anyway. They knew that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to have that shit separated. It's, I mean, just like Voltron. There's that piece of shit Triple oh. H. <laughs> <laughs> Traps are too big. Pecs are too small. Jay, Got that Jay right there. Jay, you can't let that shit go, man. It's like skinny ass, looking it's arms, like, forearms. I don't know I'll get shit for it, but I'm just, I'm just not there. <laughs> don't look there, James. Look in the bottom left. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Will? Yeah, How you doing? Now, there she is. Oh, the it. official Plastic Fanatics mascot. <laughs> He's smoking. Man, that's a good figure. I was watching Suicide Squad last night, too. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> yep. That's why when I watch Suicide Squad, I have to have the figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm watching Suicide Squad. I got, okay, I got Harley there. I got my Just lotion. Go. Just have <laughs> it. <laughs> my <body> pillow. <laughs> Anna's asleep. Uh, got my candles lit. Let's I get just have to, it's, it makes me feel complete. Feel special. It's How nice. you doing, girl? A special moment. Can you say okay, <laughs> Mr. Russ? <laughs> God, if she said that, I'd I'd, I'd finish right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's get that. back to the Mr. Potato Head <laughs> Pop Taters here. Alien Day was on the twenty sixth, oh, was it? Or no, it's coming up. I can't remember now. I think it already, I think it's already it's, passed. Yeah, it already passed. It was April 26th, I believe. So what better thing to give to your child, a Mr. Potato Head, but one that is actually an alien? It's fantastic. Yeah, it's that. cool, actually. <laughs> it's pretty That's bad, really right? cool. <laughs> Nesting oh doll? <laughs> Cane? That's uh, <laughs> coming out of him. I love the progression. Face hugger. Face hugger on Kane. Kane. Uh, Ripley with cat, though. I don't understand. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah. yeah. But what about an alien head? Wow. Would you like this? Sideshow Collectibles is uh, giving you a one on one scale head. Oh, Replica, of course. Wow. Um, looking pretty good. This yeah, is in a retail for I think it was around 1500 bucks, something like that. Goes along with the rest of their one on one scale alien prop stuff that they've done. So, is that an embellishment to show the skull in there like that, or is like in the movies, is that visible? It's just I never noticed before. I believe it's in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Really? Before, yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude, these things are freaky. No way would I want. A life size million head <laughs> in my house. Don't be, don't be scared, Brink. <laughs> no, it's scary. What, just think, you, you put that on the coffee table or, you know, somewhere, and it's like, hey, come on over. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you want to play, play uh, be, be a Halloween trick on somebody? You want to play hide the alien head? No? Okay. <laughs> How about the new Alien Covenant NECA figure? Oh, nice. Yes. Looks good. Again, yeah, you can kind of see the, the skull head there. 
Yeah. That's what is that next month? That movie too? I think. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. And we're also getting a Kenner style Vasquez, which is cool because we, we saw her in this. I think we saw her in this getup, didn't we? When they're um, on the ship. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Too bad. I didn't realize how small she was. Oh. Or I forgot because I just I just threw her on the shelf with the other dude, um, Frost. But um, did you mistake her for a man at all? <laughs> I kind of did. I was like, wow, she's got some really buff arms for a, dude, a small dude. I thought it was like a Kevin Hart looking guy, but you know, it's a little guy, you know, syndrome. But yeah, wow. Or she's she just a huge gal, Sigourney Weaver. I don't know. Is this in scale? <laughs> Oh, we got the new Predator coming out. So I know Bram's going to be all over this. Most yeah, likely. Man. From this comic. May pick it up. I don't know. It's a different... Um, version so but we'll see the neck is also doing a one six scale not one six scale one quarter scale. yeah 18 inch homecoming spidey prototype shown not final though so great <laughs> but yeah it doesn't look too bad Talk about finding a niche as far as large figures. I thought yeah. their Pacific Rim stuff was like, oh, this is cool. I like large, you know, Jaegers. No, now they're, I mean, it's all over the place. Then that Batman that came out from the Tim Burton film was like, this is, this is good. Hit or miss when they downsize it, though, fortunately. Different pairs of hands, and the Leo's coming out. So we got Donnie, Raph, and now Leo. And Mikey will be coming out soon. Friday the 13th. Yes. Rulin Street Fighter 5 Storm Collectibles. This is the alternate costume attire of you. Limited edition. And then we also have Reptile coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Holy shit, that looks great. Got him on order now. Slept on the Beautiful. Air. Yeah, I saw that BBTS has all of the pre orders, even the limited Sub Zero and Scorpion. They get over it up. But yeah, that tongue, everything about it, it's like, well, wow. he's just not your typical repaint. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I think that's yeah. a great thing, too. I mean, these, these make sense as repaints, but, you know, they're adding so much more to make them worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that little stuff is dope. There's all the stuff you get. It's not bad. I mean, it's a what? This is a one twelve scale, Ish. or I think in like seventy. Right? It's like the NECA scale, yeah. about. Yeah, but they're roughly what around fifty bucks. Not too yeah. much. Yeah. This one's a little higher priced as compared to the other two, but I think that's okay. Okay, it looks like, I mean, it's got a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, All right. Hopefully, we're still um, still going live. Oh, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Damn. No. <laughs> <laughs> My plan failed. All right. So up next is a blast from the past, and then we will be done. Uh, unless we can have another short feeling. Oh, whoa. lost out. So you guys uh, looking forward to any of the stuff coming from Tamashi Nations? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, um, All Dragon Ball. No okay. surprises. Yeah. So and that Dragon Ball stuff looked good though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. How about any stuff from the uh, other convention we saw of the third party stuff? Yeah. 
Yeah, those Ginrise, or Ginrise, I should say. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for. Show. Yep. That'd be interesting to see. And it was uh, it was nice to see Fans Toys put out a uh, like official that they're making an RC, right? I don't think they actually announced that formally before that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it was all rumor before that, I think. Definitely. Um, everything looks good, and I like the fact that Fans Hobby is still going strong. Especially um, kind of starting off with the you know the monster bots in a way even though arch enemy but still they're coming out with a lot of stuff hopefully it's all gonna be good okay moving on to the blast from the past we're gonna be taking a look at x-men evolution i did x-men oh, nice. animated series last week it was you know 1992 all that the thing uh the series that came next is X-Men Evolution, which came out in 2000. It was a kid's WB show, four seasons, 52 episodes. Started in 2000, finished off in 2003. Uh, so we had some really good stuff happening here. If you haven't seen the show, probably going to do a little bit of spoilers, but it is worth checking out uh, just for the fact that it's a new take on the X-Men. Uh, they're going back to their teenage years, yet some of the 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 X Men are older and are more like supervisors or uh, teachers in a way, I guess. But yeah. really good cast. Also, if you're familiar with Beast Wars or v Ocean Group from Vancouver or Viz Entertainment, uh, a lot of the voice actors from that came over, which I'll go through here in a second. But that's what we get to see, um, cast wise. You do get the new mutants later on in season two. Um, but yeah. So there was a comic book that came out in 2002. It was a short-lived comic book, unfortunately. Only nine issues. Um, loosely based on stuff that was in the show. Uh, but it just didn't really take. Um, so I just hear some of the different books. All right, it was released on DVD. Unfortunately, they never released, which irritates the hell out of me, season four. So they never finished it, much like Gargoyles. Uh, so you go all the way to season three. Individual discs, they had a lot of good extras on there. Also, inter um, you know, interviews with the voice cast, the director, the writers, all that type of stuff, what they're thinking about <laughs> as far as why they came up with this. The design, all that, so definitely worth taking a look at. And then there's the complete third season. All right, there's a voice cast. A um, little blurry. I had to get this off the TV, but uh, Megan Black there. She's the voice, actually, of Rogue. Michael Donovan. David Kay, who is Professor Xavier. Oh, there's two David Ks. There's two David Ks. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Venus Terzo is in there also. She plays uh, Gene Gray and Scott McNeil is Wolverine and he actually did a pretty good job as Wolverine yeah he did so alright so this is the team that we start off with starts off with Gene Gray you got Cyclops you get Kurt Nightcrawler and then Kitty comes along Spike comes along Rogue comes along Storm and they're all teenagers in high school so you're going to go through that uh, they wanted to develop the stories around teenagers developing their powers, but also just going through teenage problems, social problems, all that type of stuff, which it was a cool take. Different also costume takes. Wolverine was older, so he's more of a mentor. Same with Storm. Professor X obviously was older and as, as a mentor also. And then we were, we were introduced to other characters like Beast down the road and such. And there's, there's Wheels himself, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Oh. David, which David Kay did a really good job. If you didn't really like the X-Men animated series, Professor X, David Kay did a, a, an excellent job giving us that, I guess, stability in his voice, but yet assurance and that just 
I don't know. It, it sounded like Professor. It, it was more on cue with what we were seeing with Patrick Stewart later on down the road. Actually, it was yeah. about the same yeah. time. Was he like, I will read your mind now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fruticos. <laughs> Wait. Wrong All enemy. right. <laughs> But yeah, Wolverine got to go through some of the stuff they did do some of the story arcs. You had Sabretooth in here, which we'll see in a second, but um, like flashbacks with Weapon X and some other stuff. They did do some of that. You did get the ultimate um, uh, costumes later on also, which we'll take a look at here. Good old Storm. She had a sister. I don't remember in the comic books having a sister, but her sister is the mom of Spike. So she was always referred to as Auntie O. Cyclops was great. If you're familiar with Inuyasha, he is Moroku. Uh, the voice actor does Moroku's Cyclops. Same as Quicksilver, oh, he's voiced by Inuyasha. But Jean Grey? Always wearing flip-flops. Huh. <laughs> you get to see the development of the relationship between Gene and Scott. Their romance blossoming. Nightcrawler was really good as far as just being a prankster. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I were watching this um, with the kids and stuff, and we we're like, "Does Nightcrawler his boxers? His shirt's tucked into his boxers. There, it's kind of weird." And all this <laughs> like must have been the end thing back in the day. But Shadow Cat, this is what I really like. The animated series really developed on Wolverine and Jubilee's relationship, which we did see in the comic book. But he had his he had another young ward, I guess you could say, back in the day, which was Kitty Pride. And I like that you saw this. In this series, he always called her half pint and yeah. took favors with her and all that. So, and now, Shadow uh, Cat. Kitty Pride is is Shadow Cat. Is that like her X Men X Men name? Like in the comics, like old Shadow school Cat. stuff. Like, yeah, she became Shadow Cat later on. Oh, okay. I think it was like Excalibur. I don't know. She was Kitty Pride. She was Sprite. She was Ariel, hmm. and then she was Shadow Cat. Okay. <laughs> so, Rogue. Rogue was done really well. She did not, and yeah. she was a deep, I guess you could say deep powered Rogue, which I liked. She did not have Miss Marvel's powers. So she couldn't fly. She couldn't, she didn't have super strength. But, um, not bad. Spike. Spike became a Morlock <laughs> towards the end of the oh. show. Kind of a douche canoe, but in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. Cocky little bastard. Yeah. Essentially it was like the the the, the morrow, I guess, kind of. There's Beast, chemistry teacher. Turned hairy. So <laughs> made him more ape like. And then this is funny. So they introduced Alex Summers. Yeah. And he's a surfer dude from Hawaii, which was hilarious to hear him talk. It's nothing like yeah. I picture Havoc from like X Factor or even the beginning back in the day. Did he sound like that cheat from uh, Garfield and Friends? The what? The cheat from Garfield and Friends. You know, the one that kind of talked like the surfer dude with old gray hair. Yeah. Man. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he did. And, um, Pretty cool. We got Forge, which is kind of a cool little take that he was suspended in this weird dimension for like 15 years. But I like the fact he could trans transmute his body into weaponry or machinery. Steak's alter ego. Oh, those are R, R's, A's. Oh, I forgot her name. I always want to say Misty, but not. I mean, new mutants that we got, which is cool. So it progressed. So you actually got to see right. X Men, the the original X Men, kind of get older and like become seniors. And then you got the freshman class. So you got Bobby here, who became the next prankster. 
You got Berserker. You got Jubilee. You got Magma. Boom Boom, which actually... Huh. That was interesting how they actually um, portrayed her character. That was cool. <laughs> Berto de Costa, Sunspot, Wolfsbane, yeah. Rain Sinclair, M. Gertrude, Cannonball, who could never freaking ass steer himself anywhere in the show, which was hilarious. Huh. <laughs> and his effect was always looking like light speed from Visionaries. So. Madrock, the young one, multiple men. Gave me Madrock, I think I'm saying. Angel was in there, which is cool. And the other thing, too, that we saw in this is they're always trying to keep their powers a secret. They weren't coming out yeah. until later on when Apocalypse started doing his thing. Gambit. Bosses, which was a bad guy. He worked for Magneto. He was part of the Acolyte. And this is something that was really cool. So just like what we got with Batman animated series with Harley Quinn, we got the introduction of Terry McGinnis and Batman Beyond. We also got the introduction of Firestar back in the day of Spider-Man and his amazing friends. We got X-23 introduced here in the X-Men Evolution cartoon until she got introduced in the comic world in NYX number three, and then she got her own series, and she became, you know, Lady Wolverine and all that type of shit. So, hmm. Pretty cool. She was pretty, pretty badass in this card in this show. I, oh yeah, she was. Yeah, she gave Wolverine a run for his money. Yep. Got the Morlocks. <laughs> we also got guest appearances of Nick Fury. Yes, Nick Fury is white. That's what he was in the comic books back in what? the day. Not Samuel L. Jackson. Yep. And we also got Captain America, which was a good it was a good story arc. How they saved um, a little boy from a camp, concentration camp, who happened to have magnetic powers. Fill in Sabretooth. Magneto. Yeah, I like the way that looks where you don't see his face. That's yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah, for the for a while he was always a mystery, always in the background in the beginning. Yeah. Mystique was the principal of the school, and they're all you know, Brotherhood yeah, were there, the X Men were there, all that. Wasn't that like a secret thing or whatever? Yep. They got until uh, Mystique got yeah. outed, and then Principal Kelly came in. Ooh, Ooh. You know who Kelly is? But Mystique went through some changes. She uh, morphed into that. It's, it's, it's not that boring, Charles. It's not that boring. We're getting through this. We will make it through it. Everybody hold hands and we will get through this. Mystique was pretty good. These are people, too. They are people, too. He did a good job with her character, too, in the show. It was awesome. The, the other thing that they did also was the introduction of music for certain characters. Toad had a really good um, like little soundtrack that he had that when he'd be hopping up and down and you know doing stuff, it, it was pretty cool. It was catchy. Yeah. Um, Toad is voiced by the kid who, or not a kid anymore. Uh, he voices Michelangelo from the live-action turtle movies, Bayformer. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, never damn. mind. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Are we talking about the Nickelodeon cartoon? Piece of shit. What's that? No piece of shit. What's that? Um, we got Avalanche. Looks pretty cool. Now they did change up yep. their um, their names. Todd Talansky. That's not really Toad's comic book name. And also with um, Avalanche here, Blob. The Blob. The Blob. The Blob. Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Scarlet Witch. She went goth on us, and she did. Yeah. And she had daddy issues. Big time. <laughs> um, oh. Totally watch the show. <laughs> she, she really did have some issues with the dear old dad. You got Pyro there. Pyro. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Sentinel. Oh, I didn't get the Sentinel. No. Um, <laughs> and then you got some other characters like Mesmero, Mastermind. You got um, Lady um, Viper. 
Omega Reds there. Omega Red and such. So that was pretty cool that I have some other characters. But it wasn't focused on the comic book. It was its own Same. take of stories, yeah. but yet dabbled a little bit in comic books, but wasn't like the animated series. Apocalypse, which yeah. is interesting. And then his four horsemen, which was Professor X, Magneto, Mystique, and Storm. Oh my god, he can walk. I know. Wow. Huh. You would think in the comic books, Professor X, he can walk, he can't walk. Oh, he got his legs back. Yeah. Oh no, he got him back. He's he's in a wheelchair. Ah, oh, he's oh, back. Nope. He's in nope. Savage Land, he can suddenly walk again. Oh, I know, that too. So, so, so I'm like, is his power somehow connected to uh, his spinal cord? You know, Nerves not interacting with these legs that would allow So at the end of the show, Professor X had a little little monologue thing that he did and he had a vision that he saw the the evolution of the X Men into what you see from the ultimates. New costumes, new teammates, all that. And there you go. Nice. X twenty three is there. Oh, Moving on into the toys. All grown up. <laughs> yep, all grown up. And um, I mean, the next series was the Nick series, Wolverine and the X-Men, which is properly named because, you know, you think of the X-Men, you always think of Wolverine. Right. This wasn't centered around Wolverine, which was really nice also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, they, they really went into a lot of development in the, uh, with the other characters. Um, oh, but, yeah. You know, it was, it was nice. I mean, the relationship between Wolverine and Kitty was good. The fact that Kitty was scared of Nightcrawler was, you know, a nice little nod to the comic books. She was. Um, how Storm was introduced into the fold. Um, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, toys now. Wasn't a huge toy toy nice. line, but we'll be done here in a second. Are we talking enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> in the world, what, was that? what uh, in the world was that? Yell at me, and I yell back. <laughs> That's what they say. Interactive little um, eighteen inch or no? These are actually I think, yeah, they're about eighteen inches tall, I believe. Uh, you got a Wolverine, and you have a Cyclops, and you have a. Saber too. So if you want, they can talk to each other. I'm much like Furby and, and all that other kind of crap back in the day. So there you go. Dude, do their mouths move? Their mouths do move. That's crazy. <laughs> They're called the Top yeah, Hat Mutes. Right. It's interesting. But, um, yeah. And then you, if you wanted the doll life, you could, yeah. um, huh. you could get Cyclops, who came with a locker, who also came with a... Um, Another dress of clothes, so that's pretty cool. And you got Toad. A Wolverine. Oh, good. He comes in, he comes in a gi. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he needs some walking around clothes. <laughs> Karate is here, Mr. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving into the toys. These were done by Toy Biz. We have Cyclops. Quite a bit of articulation. These weren't like your X-Men animated um, toys. They were starting to branch out of that. Still had the gimmicks of different weaponry or like Cyclops here had the light up feature for his eyes. These don't go for that much money on, on the secondary market either. No. But um, I'm not sure why you'd want to get them either, but they're okay. Um, you got Nightcrawler here. And then you got Nightcrawler in his disguise, yeah. which was pretty cool. I like that little image inducer. Yeah. 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 They wear it on his wrist or something like that, right? It was yep. like a watch. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't have the religious background like we're accustomed to in the comics, which we got in the X-Men animated series. He was just a fun-loving elf that was what the hell my mom's mystique <laughs> huh. so they at least put that in there which is cool there's spike looking all pissed off he's probably just pissed off that he's getting ridden as more luck <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to live in the sores 
Storm. Weird looking hips don't lie. <laughs> Damn. Wolverine. Wolverine again. Battle Ravage Wolverine. Comes with a little saber tooth. Punches, kicks, and slashes. Ooh, triple extreme action. You know it's extreme when oh. they use an X instead of an E. Ooh. Or Wolverine. Ninja Wolverine with martial arts training dummy. And then Wolverine in civvies. <laughs> That's pretty good. Juggernaut. Bitch. He punches, slams, and crushes. Triple extreme action. Action. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Huh. Wait, can you remove his helmet? Because I thought that was part of the juggernaut saying is he can't remove his armor. And then it clips on. They have to have a Achilles heel somehow. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, they portrayed that in the the actual I think they portrayed it in every single introduction of him. I just weird. Need to go back and yeah. even uh, Spider Man and his amazing friends. Which is funny. I was like, oh no, the juggernaut's coming. We need to remove his helmet. Well, that's easy. <laughs> you would think that he would um, weld it onto his head or something. Yeah. Hey, man, something. If he does that, though, he ain't going to get a haircut. Wasn't so, thinking I mean, about it. His helmet protected him from Xavier's mental. Yep. You know, yeah. For long. yeah. From any um, uh, telepath. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. I remember Excalibur. <laughs> take Captain Britain's like, no, I can take him. It's like, dude, you can't do shit. Take the helmet off and let Phoenix blast him with the side blast and he'd be done. But no, Brian's like, I can do it. Love Brian Braddock. Awesome. Okay, here's Magneto. This is probably the hardest one to find and might cost you, I don't know, 20 bucks. <laughs> probably. <laughs> if you can find him. But it's not. Too bad. Removable helmet, which is kind of cool. You didn't really get that a lot with uh, Magneto's. Yeah, you still don't really get that. I would love to get a proper Magneto yeah, in the Legends cool. line. Yeah, that'd be great. That's for sure. Blob. <laughs> huh. I'm <laughs> Can't help it. Whenever I see version like Blob, I might I go back to the old video game. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> Nobody beats the Blob. Oh like, God, it's great. He's got a little squishy belly to absorb yep. your punches. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, the things that they come up with. Oh, it's funny. Hasbro, please do not bring back the gimmicks. Build the figures are just good enough. There's Toad, and then we got some vehicles, which was really cool. Also, in the animated or in the cartoon, um, you got to see Wolverine on his bike instead of in the animated series. We saw him more on his like he had a Jeep, but yeah. he had his typical bike here. Two different versions. You have Logan here with his mutant cycle in his civvies. You also had Logan in his actual costume with helmet. They both have, so that's pretty cool. And then Sabretooth had to have a chopper too, so. You could chase after <laughs> Wolverine, and that is it. So we are done. So pretty cool toy line. I don't know. Just decided to throw that out there and um, have fun with it. X Men Evolution. Definitely worth pick, or definitely worth seeing if you haven't seen it. Oh Not yeah. Uh, go back yeah, I, I was I was a big fan of this show, man. I liked it. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um. I might do Wolverine and the X-Men as another Blast from Pass. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, it did have a toy line, but they were three and three quarter inch. And there was, it's kind of well done as far as the drawings. Emphasis on like the White Queen, stuff like that. But it's all about Wolverine, which is okay. It always is. Yeah, it always <laughs> is. Yeah. And uh, the relationship he's, between he's... him and Rogue, then, which is odd. Yeah. He's an interesting character, man. He he he's the one character. He's one, probably the one member of the X Men that kind of transcends, you know, everything. It's like, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> but I don't think Wolverine's the heart of the team, though. 
No, no, he's yeah. not. And that's what's yeah, interesting is, about him is that he's uh, not. But I think everyone just likes him because he's badass, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. it's, it's just kind of interesting. But other than that, that's it. Um, anything else you guys uh, want to discuss? Um, concerns? Um, I'm here for you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Has anybody got anything? Got any questions about X Men Evolution? X Men Evolution. I, Not me, man. I watched the show, so <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I actually watched the show. Anyone, please? Yeah, I, watched yeah. The show. I was. Yeah, I was excited that you know. <laughs> we, I was like, "Ooh, evolution! All right, I know a little bit about this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. good. Um, yeah, there's no like, I don't know if there was a game. I didn't go into the gaming aspect of it, but um, everything that I watched—I mean, my kids enjoyed it. I think more than the animated series. Yeah. Um, my son and daughter were like, "Oh, can we watch another evolution?" Because it because it, it had that cheesy comedy that they could relate to like yeah, like did. slapstick kind of comedy um, yeah you know like nightcrawler like getting he, in trouble and then he has yeah. to like wax the x jet and he has to do all that yeah. type of stuff and, his punishments were in always labor <laughs> intensive yeah yeah it, but i like the uh, animation of it too the way they animated yeah. it I oh was yeah cool yeah yeah well, it was done pretty well um, I like the fact that we also got the introduction of X twenty three that no one really yep. like. Oh look, that's a it's a female Wolverine. That's kind of odd, and unique, yeah. and yeah. not like she's gotten as big as Harley Quinn. But I mean, that's the same. Like, like wow, well, she's she getting there though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. Uh, so you know how the Batman Adventure comics, the first appearance of Harley Quinn, and that I mean, those fetch Number a pretty 12. good, pretty good. Pretty good price, right? I was yep. just wondering if there is an associated comic for the um, debut of X twenty three, which also fetched a good price at all. NYX, I think it's three, goes for I think like three hundred bucks, maybe. Oh yeah, no big deal. Around there, um, not as much as like Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. it, and also, the thing that like for Harley Quinn is, I mean, Batman Adventures twelve was. I, for me personally, I I just bought all Batman's type of stuff, so I was able to get that, and that was one of those like, oh, I wonder if I have that. Go back and look, and like, oh, I did. But most people back then didn't give a crap about like kind of like the kiddish type of stuff. Right. They wanted the real like DC continuing story in the Batman Detective Comics, Shadow of the Bat, all that type of stuff. So they ignored that, and it was also a newsstand. So getting a good copy is really hard. NYX was a you know comic book shop. It wasn't you know on the newsstands and everything, so you can fetch a little bit of a, a little bit of a price. But yeah, it's not bad. Um, other than that, yeah, X Men Evolution. Go check it out. Um, X Men animated series. Don't want to take away from that. It's a good series. Also, if you're really a fanboy of comics and want to know more a little bit about comics instead of going back and reading about them. You get a little yeah. bit more in depth on some stories and such, uh, but other than that, that's it. So, all right, let's do some outros and we out. I will start with Brian. So, guys, uh, <laughs> you can find me uh, in the Facebook groups uh, as Brian Brink and on Instagram as uh, Brink Eliza. Nope. And I help Ace uh, co-host his figure banging show every other Wednesday. We have a show this week. And I also uh, co-host with the rest of the Jackals on Enter the Realm Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the Realm of Collectors channel. Yay, yay. Yeah. Yep. Dan, when you come back, man. I'm yeah, Dan. No clue. I'm taking you in. I'm taking myself out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to represent the Pacific Northwest. Come on. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. I'm going to take some schooling. I'm going to take some classes then. 
He's got to go. It's where you taking classes. I just need a break from podcast. I just I need a break from podcast. That's the only way I thought. It's like you know I'm gonna drop a couple thousand on some school. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. No. Um, no. It's fun at times. It's just. Uh, uh, let's see. I wanted to ask you something, Brian, but I don't I forgot. A little banter between you and Energon Addict. I remember I saw on the <laughs> on uh, the hangout. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not one to mess up names like that, but though I uh, referred to him as Jose, which uh, <laughs> was we had a good time with that, and I think it just kind of dovetails into the fact that uh, Bobby would call out the fact that he would mix up their names as well, which I thought was also funny. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's that was messed up. <laughs> I was like, wow, what's going on? All right. So interesting. All right, All right, Charles, where can people find you at? They can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Optimus Four Press. Go. And my other Pacific Northwest brethren, Mister. Harvey underscore underscore dent. Well, as the man says, Harvey double underscore dent on IG and mostly lurking on the Facebook groups. Cool. Oh, complete fail. Can't. Well, I have an ab crunch if you can't use it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't go up because of the damn backpack. You can't go down because there's no clicks. Nice. But <laughs> it's there for just to say we did have one. That's lame. But well, he can raise his neck or his head up from his neck. All right. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> Russ, where can people see your rants? I haven't done one for a while. Right. I, need, I need to, like, bitch about something. I don't yes. know. Come up with something to rail. Maybe I'll do something this week. Um, yeah, right. You can find me on uh, the, fate, the Good Book and uh, Twitter, Instagram. Twitter and of nice. course Facebook. Yeah, I know. I still you do tweet? Twitter. Tweet. It's Instagram. Mostly, it's mostly pro wrestling stuff that I'm on Twitter messing around with. But, ah. but uh, yeah, but um, and Instagram is I like I love Instagram. That's good. That's great times. Uh -huh. But yeah, but um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna I can get a video up, man, so I can just like hammer on something. I don't know. I haven't thought about anything lately. Uh -huh. I'm sure, I'll think of something. Uh, well, you gotta complain about something, man. Yeah, I know. Or I gotta call it something. <laughs> <laughs> Go up next, Trent. Where can people find you at? Find me, Trent, by Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go. Nice. And you can find me, Victory Saber seventy seven, on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and. Again, check out ETR Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. On the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel. Tuesday, we have the ROC Hangout. Wednesday, there is an episode of Figga Bang at 9.30. All on the Realm of Collectors YouTube channel. And um, check it out. Um, be, be on the Hangout on uh, Tuesday nights. It's a really good time with the Ambassador Tommy Barricade and Eric and BX and uh, Occasional Kid Matt. Yeah, it's awesome, man. If if anyone wants to get in, just let us know, man. We'll we'll make room for you. We're trying to get some new people in. Yeah, and it's sure. I mean, it's not just time, you know? staring at each other. You know, uh, you, you, they got topics. I mean, absolutely. Tommy's doing a really good job. You know, getting getting everyone to talk and get opinions out. And yeah, it's like an organized show now. It's pretty interesting. And yeah. it's also on <laughs> iTunes. So subscribe and um, all that type of stuff. Also, so. Yeah. And don't forget to take a look at all the rest or check out all the rest of the Cool Table Network shows for all your collecting needs. Again, the links are in the description. Uh, figure banging. All right, I already said that. I'm getting tired right now. Um, <laughs> Nerd Rage. We have uh, Shattered Cast. We have Toy Detox, Eight Weeks, Stasis Lock, uh, Beers and Balters 40K. And all the other shows I mentioned. So, all right, that's it. I think I'm done. Yay. Okay. All right. Later, yeah. guys. See you guys in another, um, I don't know, four or five weeks.
<laughs> yeah, a week. Yeah, time to take time off again. <laughs> uh, it's it's fun taking long weekends. All right. Later. See ya. <laughs> See, ya. See ya. I'm waiting for the views to get down to one. We got seven huh. viewers, so we're just gonna stare at each other. Let's just do a podcast of just staring. Stare. Yeah. <laughs> 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 cracks first. <laughs> All right.